Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Tune Review, where tonight it is Fan Forum Night again, where we will be discussing Newcastle United. Uh, obviously, it's been a very interesting uh, 48 hours. Uh, thank you to everybody for all the kind words of support towards Danielle and towards the channel. Um, thanks to the mods as well for uh, all the backup, and of course you, Alex. Uh, it's it's fighting the lost cause against some of these low lives, but never mind. Um, just like to say thank you to everybody for all the support in the last 24 hours uh, with regards to, uh, obviously, the online trolling and stuff. And hello to the trolls, because I know you'll be watching. Uh, you seem to get clips of these videos all the time, so big good evening to you lot as well. Um, you know, it's, uh, it's night time now, so you can open your curtains as well. Um, so, yeah, Danielle wasn't scheduled to be on the show tonight or next week's fan forum, by the way, because uh, she has work very early in the morning. So um, she's not on the show for that reason uh, and that reason alone. Um, so she won't be here tonight and next Tuesday's fan forum as well. So, um, But she's fine. She's doing well. And, uh, you know, as, as you would expect, to be honest. So, uh, Alex, uh, we obviously talking about uh, the Brentford game and how uh, you know inspired it was, and another three points and seven games unbeaten. Now it's uh, it, it's bizarre talking about seven games unbeaten, isn't it? I mean, when you talk about Newcastle United, saying seven games unbeaten in the same sentence is a bit bizarre. Yeah, we're <clears throat> we're looking really good on a lot of these fancy little leaderboards now, with fewest goals conceded in twenty twenty two and. We haven't lost yet. We're, we're on all of these swanky little leaderboards across Europe, so it's, yeah, it's we weird to, to suddenly be involved in that. Um, it's a nice change. I mean, we've got Brighton coming up, and Brighton at the minute are in a lot of trouble as well. They, 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 they're going south, and a lot of people have obviously commented saying, oh, you know, they've never been the same since Dan Byrne left. Uh, and maybe you can understand that, given how Dan Byrne's performed for us and the player that he looks. Uh, so it, it, it's really interesting to see um, how sort of out of form they are at the minute and another team out of form that we can take advantage of. Yeah, it's a funny one with Brighton because I remember the the season um, before this one, They, uh, I think it was that one where they, they got really unlucky with XG. They hit the bar a million times and um, it just wasn't happening despite good football. Uh, and this year it looked like it had clicked. They, would, they had a really strong start to the season. They were looking really good. Um, and I'm not exactly sure why it's going like it is currently. I haven't had a, a good look into it yet and done my, my pre-match research. So I will get around to that and have a look and try and figure out why they're in this run of form. Because whenever I switch Brighton on, they look really good, uh, but the results aren't there. So I um, need to go and have a look at, at why that is. And hopefully hopefully we can take advantage of that and, and get some points off them. So Yeah. Uh, Gary says, uh, other than Trippier and Wilson, we'll have a full-strength squad for Brighton, I think. Uh, so do we play Fraser on the left or does ASM come straight back in? Well, for me, um, ASM comes back in on the left, Fraser moves to the right. Um, and then they can alternate to what, like Murphy and Fraser did, just alternate onto each other's side. Um, I think that, that that's the only legitimate option, really, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, I think, what did Howe say? I think he said he's hoping to have him fit for Brighton. So, uh... yeah. I didn't think he said it was 100%, but I would imagine it would be. The fact he was 
the fact he thought he could be available for Brentford surely suggests he was probably going to be available for Brighton. So and he's not going um, to give anything away, is he? Yeah, to be target fair. behind ASM seems like the logical thing to go back to that because it worked really well when yeah when they've been together. So I didn't realise we hadn't beaten Brighton in the Premier League though. Um, yeah, another funny record. Strange start, didn't it? Uh, John, Joe and Joe uh, and Big Joe show is on the cards again. Uh, anyone know if Mankiw will be back? I, I think Mankiw will be back. I think um, that's the one. He was on the bench, wasn't he? Making. Yeah. Um, so I can I can see him coming in. Uh, anyway, it's time to bring some uh, some rabble into the the, the occasion. We got Ryan, the King of Qatar. Yeah. We've got Rohan. We've got Nathan. We've got Jason. We've got Graham, and we have got Paul. Uh, Paul, how's the internet tonight? It's good. I phoned them up and blasted them. All right, so you're not going to turn upside down tonight, no? I hope not. <laughs> good stuff. Uh, Pedro says, good evening, guys and girls. Please don't let those keyboard warriors get to you. Uh, your 10,000 subs speaks volumes on how well your channel is doing. Keep up the fab work. Thank you very much, Pedro. Uh, I will, don't worry. They're not going to... He's Oh, he says his internet's oh, he's champion and he's down. just he's lost gone. connection. <laughs> Unbelievable. Uh, and we're, you know, we're replaced with the Irish Hobbit. So good evening, Dublin, Dave. God, what's the crack? What's the bleeding story? The crack is all right. It's it's better than Paul's internet at the minute. <laughs> I don't always want. I always want. Now what's going on? Uh, uh, well, tickle my tonsils with a lion bar. Ha ha, Paul. I've used that so many times since Saturday. I'm so sorry that you've had to use that quote. Uh, so many times. Uh, Tsunami says, heard Abramovich is open bids for Chelsea, asking price around 5.6 billion. Bids will go in this week. That's going to be interesting to see what happens with that. Um, Ryan, good evening. Hey, how are you guys doing? Well, uh, you know, fine, I guess. <laughs> it's been a very interesting 48 hours, but never mind. Yeah, um, that's all there. Yeah. Um, but, you know, they won't win, but never mind. Um, Brentford, what did you think? Well, as soon as the red card happened, like I had a bit of like fear in me that like we won't score, maybe that kind of thing where like ten men could be yeah. go in favor of Brentford, but it worked out and for me it worked out because everything came through Ryan Fraser. That had to be one of his best games I've seen. I get it, like it's ten men, but I just don't think we were a threat without anyone else. Cause he was the he created like six or seven chances that game and you know, when he was doing that, I knew eventually someone would get the head on there. Joe Linton, boom. Thank God he scored that. And then Joe Willick, two goals in a row. And let's hope for more. And uh, and uh, Chris Wood, who knows, man? Like, he's I, – I don't really – I'm not really the one to, like, kind of go off on him because I know he's, like, a short-term option for now. If he's our star, starting striker next season, then, yeah, there's issues for me. Yeah. But – and it's also the kind of thing too where it's like, oh, we won games with Chris Wood. Why are you criticizing? Well, he's a striker. He's not scoring goals, man. Like, like we got every right to to be negative, even if we win games, man. Like, I'm sick of people like that. Oh, but yeah. Well, you know, you're gonna get them. I mean, uh, apparently, I have an agenda against the SM, but you know, fair enough, whatever. Um, you know, but Chris Wood, for me, it, it, you know, he just. <laughs> He's not the answer, but we know he's the only player that can play there at the minute, yeah. apart from Dwight Gale, and we know he's not going to get involved at all. Um, so at the minute, we, we we have to play him because there's nobody else. I mean, Jason, I mean, you know, I I, I know you've been a fan of him since he signed. Um, Piss off, I? What, what, what were your thoughts? Uh, brilliant game. Even if they had uh, 11 men on the field, Fraser would have still run and record. He was my absolute man of the match. He was unstoppable. We best I've seen him. We've seen a huge turnaround from how he was when he first joined to that that silly smirk when he got sent off. To now, you've seen him put in so much effort and get always getting there, ready to run, ready to pick up the ball. He's he's amazing. And more or less than I can say about Chris Wood otherwise. But yeah, uh, <laughs> I still don't rate him. Still, still don't think he's, he's the right fit for us. I think he's gone at uh, by the next season. He, he ain't going to be part of the team. So as soon as we bring in a couple of strikers, he's going to be a bench person. I know. He's I know. a fantastic shit player. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I suppose that's one way you can you can call him. Uh, Adrian, thanks for becoming a new member, matey. Uh, welcome to the family. I don't know whether that's a renewal or a, a new member. I'm not too sure. 
uh, the way it goes, it's it's a bit crazy. Uh, good evening, Lizzie. Hope you're well. Uh, AS Games, good evening. Uh, Andrew says, love that intro. Thanks, mate. Uh, was reading Sir Bobby Robson's autobiography again. Apparently, he was lifelong friends with Don Howe, um, Eddie's dad. Uh, thought this was a pretty crazy coincidence. I don't think Don Howe is Eddie Howe's dad, is he? That that that, that pure silence kind of gives it away. Uh, <laughs> don't all answer at once, guys. Uh, can't remember the last time I looked forward to every tune match. Uh, good evening, Andrew. Hope you're well. Even Steve. Um, uh, I've been doing mock exams. I have real exams in two months. Uh, yeah. Best way to revise, listen to tune review. That'll just keep you, you know. Paul, keep Wikipedia your says Donald Howe. Wikipedia yeah, says it, it is. It does say Wikipedia. It, Wikipedia says it is, but you can't always trust Wikipedia. So, as an English football player, coach, manager, and pundit, Donald Howe. Died Listen, Wikipedia said I was best one of the best ice hockey players in the UK. Things are things are typed very strangely on there. Um, <laughs> no, I've never actually looked at it that way. Um, Danny says absolute brilliant supporters from a West Ham fan. Hope you guys win the league eventually. Uh, thanks, mate, and I hope you get top four this season. Uh, Colin says, uh, "Hey all, how is you doing? Hope you're all well. Um, yeah, everyone, hope you're well. Newcastle fan from Norway here. Thank you very much." Um, Adrian says he's just renewing, so top man, top man. Uh, we need Palace to score, so we have that weekend off because of the FA Cup. Well, at the minute, it's 1-1, I believe, isn't it? Yeah, um, it's still 1-1. Only a couple of minutes left, I think. Bloody stoke, man. Uh, that, I mean, come on. Uh, Wacky says, good evening, Paul and Stato. Great to see you keep doing what you're doing. Thanks, buddy. And thank you for the support as well, mate. Uh, it really does mean a lot. Um, Mr. Dublin Magpie, I believe you didn't see the game. Yeah, it was a bit busy. Uh, what were you doing? Uh, I was down the country meeting up with someone. Uh, uh, wouldn't happen to be a female, would it? You're shooting a porno. It, it, was, a, it was a female, yeah. Uh, Ryan, be careful. This is a family show. <laughs> it was a female, yeah. Uh, well, so you, 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 you're you giving up watching Newcastle for a female, are you? <laughs> no, no, I watched the highlight. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever, whatever. Disgrace. You got tin chickles. <laughs> Yeah, but it what? It never mind. We'll move on. Um, Martin says, uh, thinking of everyone in the Ukraine tonight, stay safe. Indeed, indeed. Uh, absolute thoughts go to everybody out there. Um, uh, one palace, and, uh, by the way. Sorry, I think it's 2 1 palace, so I think we're okay. Yeah. Um, Although, page yeah, not found, two one so palace. Maybe... yeah, that's good. Cool. cool. Um, King of Qatar, how are you? <laughs> Is he speaking or is he just waving? He's just smiling. <laughs> You've not got your mic on your plank. <laughs> oh, he's doing a Sinclair now with his microphone. Oh, dear me. He got rid of the beard as well. Is that <laughs> short? Can't tell that <laughs> nah. Roy, you need to sort that out, mate. I can't hear a titty boo that you're saying. Uh, Rohan, how are you? Yeah, I'm all right. Uh, what, what's your thoughts on the Brentford game? Uh, what well, I thought it was a massive game before I was proper. Can you hear me now? Can you yep. hear me now? Oh, I'm back. Yes. Anyway, just show because I... Rohan's talking now at the minute, so just okay. stay. <laughs> <laughs> so it was a nice like uh, relief when they got that red card because it. E I think it eased the nerves of the players because uh, I thought it was quite cagey in the first ten minutes. Uh, like both teams had got up the pitch quite well, but I think target. And Fraser, the link up down that side, like it just enabled us. Like I couldn't believe Brentford were defending so narrow when they were getting rinsed on the wings. Yeah. Has somebody got YouTube on? No. Nope. Are we sure? There's a lot of feedback going on. Somebody's got a telly on because I can clearly hear it. Ding. Right. It's Paul, actually, because I've just knocked his speaker off. Ah, uh, you know, that sales. Honestly, one minute, you, you just kind of trust what he's doing. He's sitting there. He's having a bloody party back there. <laughs> anyway, I'll knock the mic on when you get to talk, Paul. Don't worry. Uh, hi, Paul. Hi, Danielle. Uh, well, it's actually Stato, but uh, my granddad once told me that opinions are like rolls. Everyone has one, but some smell worse than others. You guys have a brilliant channel and don't let the buggers grind you. Doing thanks very much, uh, Jim. 
Uh, Paul, uh, you lot awesome, and Danielle, great content as usual. Don't let plebs get your uh, peeps down. Well, they're not going to. Um, I have no idea what that means. Uh, it's a message to trolls. Uh, he, yeah, hi, Norwegian. and by the... Uh, sorry? This is Norwegian, I think. Uh, yeah. If we can do the fun. What? <laughs> Whatever. Uh, good evening, Paul and Stato. Do not let them get you uh, get to you. You're the best show on YouTube, and they're just jealous. Cheers, buddy. We've got to be uh, nice to the Norwegians in case we ever get Halland. We've got to, we've got to be nice. You never know. What it could happen. <laughs> well, yeah, it could happen. It could happen. It, it, it could happen. Um, it, Nathan, how are you? I'm good. I'm good. Um, Brentford was a brilliant performance yeah. from, from the lads again. Hopefully, hopefully we can be Brighton, and then that'll be eight games unbeaten, and we'd we'd love for that because we'd never we've never heard of that against in history before. If we eight games, Newcastle get unbeaten in. Yeah, um, but yeah, unbeaten. Ryan Fraser, man, the match for me. So also Joe Willick, he, he, he's just turned turned the corner now. Joe Willick, mm-hmm. he can get another goal. Confidence is really really strong in the team at the minute, and hopefully we can get another yeah. win against Brighton. Yeah. Right, Roy. How you doing, mate? How I'm doing, all right, my friend. How are you? Not bad. I shaved my beard because it was a bet that if we beat Brentford, I was gonna, I was going to shave it, so I had to do it. <gasps> I thought it's because oh. I complimented your beard at the end of the last show. I thought you were like, nah, if Alex likes it, I'm getting rid Has of it. Has it completely gone? Hang on a minute. Yeah, Hang but on. I've, I've got, I've got. It's been seventy hours now. Hey, there he is. I look like what? a potato with eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> it's Mr. Potato Head. Oh my yeah. god! Yeah, I look like a baby when I get rid of him. Is, is that the um, the London club that's Bagpies based? The shirt? Is no, it? no. This Where, is, uh, is the Doha Mags one. Doha. Oh, that's that yeah. one. Okay. Yeah. Designed by your yours truly, and I got one. <laughs> this is the first one. It's the mock up. So we're gonna get a few of them made for the lads here. Quality. Uh, Everton have just moved into the relegation zone. By the way. Um, get them relegated, please. They're praying. I'm absolutely. Is it still nil nil, or is it got changed? Uh, no idea. Uh, I don't have any scores in front of us at the minute. I've got the other laptop shut down. Uh, Aditya says, please bring back Danielle. We miss her chubby cheeks. Uh, Daniel will be back for the match preview on Thursday, I believe. So don't worry. Uh, Brighton is our bogey team. How can we burst that? Uh, Paul. Can we beat Brighton and Hove Albion? Why I? No bother. Oh, I like the confidence. Why I? No bother. bother. Um, James Murray, thanks for becoming a member. Also to Keith Delts, thank you for becoming a new member. Again, I'm not sure whether they're renewals or not, but thank you very, very much. Uh, isn't Dunk suspended at the moment? Is Dunk suspended, Stato? I haven't started my pre-match He got a red card against yet. No idea. You, but it was um, only a, like a professional foul. So was it a double yellow or a straight red? What? It was a straight red, but it was like he fouled him going through on goal. So it wasn't like a serious foul play. It was like a stop in a goal score. And I don't know if that's three games or just one game. I think it's subjective sometimes, isn't it? They make it up yeah. as they go yeah. along sometimes. Depends on bad it is. Premier yeah. League make things up, Alex. Yeah, really? Because <laughs> it's often, re- even though there's a red card, sometimes they will retrospectively decide how long the ban is. Yeah, be very careful about having so. opinions on this show, Alex. Dear me, Christ on a bike. Um, yeah. Andrew says it feels great now every week, all week. I'm excited for the next game. Um, Brucey lost again at home last night, gone by the spring equinox. Yeah, yeah. Les says, hi, guys. Carry on with your great work. Send Daniel, send Daniel my best. No one deserves any crap when we all love Newcastle and we all love to talk about the mighty Toon. Indeed, we do. Uh, Ab says, very confident we can beat Brighton 1-0. 1-0. I mean, Ryan, is that a bit too close for comfort? I don't know. I'm... Like, our record against Brighton is terrible. I got nightmares from Tyreek Lamptey last season absolutely destroying yeah. us. Yeah. But it is like a different... Different manager, different regime. We should be able to beat them because I don't watch too much Brighton, but from what I hear, it seems like they play this nice way of playing, but they just got like no end product almost from like, from, like what I, I mean, see. I mean, their upfront depth is well back, so they've needed up front for a while. To so I'm fair. not wrong in saying that then. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you're right. Danny Welbeck. 
Now there is a dangerous player. Uh, Mason <laughs> Moose says, uh, Alex, how's Poland considering it's so close to Ukraine? I mean, I'm I'm at the other side of the country. I'm in I'm, I'm in Wrocław, which is the city closest to the German border. So it's all yeah. fine here. It's just just the general panic of the country that's a bit scary. Yeah. Um, oh. But now we're all we're all good at the moment. Good, good. Um, we've never beaten Brighton in the Premier League. That needs to be put right, and I'm sure it will. Put ASM in. He's our top scorer. Is he not? I'm not sure though. Um, I think it's Wilson with six. Yeah, well, yeah. Um, but having said that, look, if, Ma Ma if Maxi's fit, Maxi plays simple as that. Yeah, 100%. Um, despite the agenda that I have against him, apparently. But <laughs> he, I think he will play. Um, Andrew says, I think we should get rid of Wilson and get a player in the summer that's not injury prone. What do you guys think? Uh, Nathan, do we get rid of him? I wouldn't get rid of rid of him. I'd, he'd be a bench player. You've, you've got to keep players in the squad, obviously, for rotation. Yeah. yeah, he yeah he gets injured, but you can have the best from Callum Wilson, and then get he gets injured for the next four months, but still keep him in the around the squad, obviously, because he's our number nine. I think Wilson mm -hmm. would make a great super sub. Yeah. Yeah, come on. The thing is, maybe if you want two strikers, strikers in the come summer, on and then, start yeah. getting a few goals. When yeah, I, I have a feeling. I, I mean, I do have a feeling that. Um, Callum Wilson will be probably worried about next season, but he'll it, yeah. be frustrated as well because you know he'll be he'll be seeing that, that Newcastle United playing the way they are without him at the minute, and then obviously he's going to come back into the side at some point, hopefully this season when he's fit. But he will be worried about next season because we can't rely on him to stay fit, Roy, and that's the thing. If he's not fit, then we we have to have players in the squad who we, who we believe are going to stay fit. Yeah, um, I think if we're gonna buy a striker, he needs to replace uh, Gale. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so picking order. So Gale's out. Wood becomes a third striker. Wilson's the second. And yeah, I wouldn't even have Wood as a third striker. The one you buy, get rid. I know, and I, I know we spent twenty five million, but it was a, it was a short term fix. I mean, we just need a target man in the squad just for yeah. yeah stuff. You know, seeing out games, cup games. It's useful. We're right, okay to have a target man. man, Alex. But you, you know as well as I do, he's not doing that role either. To be fair, um, I, I just I guess we have to wait and see. Uh, CFC Florida, thanks for the five dollars super chat. Uh, undoubtedly, NUFC's twelfth man will push the players past Brighton. Uh, you know, let's hope so. Uh, Les Heron, thanks for becoming a member, mate. I don't know whether these are bloody renewals or not. I, I, who knows? Um, Sam says, love how uh, the Toon Talk on sports channels has gone from Newcastle being likely to be relegated uh, to not even seeing relegation in the same sentence as NUFC. Uh, yeah, it makes me laugh now. Suddenly, just we're not being mentioned uh, as one of the three to go down. Uh, which is uh, yeah, pretty incredible. It's been Jason. really nice to us the last two I days. I don't know yeah. how I yeah, feel about we've that. We've bought it's our weird. way out of it, haven't we? So. <laughs> well, apparently, yeah. Have we bought our way out of it, Jess? No, I wouldn't say we brought ourselves out of it. No, I would say we, we, we've just got we've just got fitter instead of being run down and tired of only training twice a week. We've, we've yeah. been we've been in every single day. Minus stuff like the after, after match day where you get to have a rest, which is natural. We're training, we're training hard, we're training longer than a couple of hours, like we was under a cabbage. So it's it's hard work that's got us here, not not buying us out of it. And and the thing as well is uh, most of the stuff, uh, most of the players that we bought aren't even getting onto the pitch. Yeah, like Trippy is injured. But <laughs> well, the thing is, just, yeah, but you've got to look at it another way. Do I mean, you look at the Premier League winners over the past. Have they not bought the league? You know, yeah, you buy, everyone, you buy everyone the best players like in order yeah, to win the league. Oh, you buy the league. The league. Everyone no, buys the league. Bayern, 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 Bayern buy the league every league. single year. Leicester just scored against Burnley and Palace won. So it was great news. Oh, both that's ways. good news for us then. Yeah. Oh, um, gives us extra time. Uh, hi, Paul. Now, Brighton's form seemed to start going tits up when their own fans started booing them off after drawn games. Keep up the good work and foot the trolls. Thank you very much. Um, oh, we've got Graham back. Um, Graham. Oh, we've got Graham back. Graham. Yeah. Hello, guys. Can you hear me? Yeah. 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 You can hear, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we got you. Yeah, I've got, I'm having um, some audio issues. Um, yeah, yeah, we got you. I just bought this equipment because I couldn't get on the first week. I think I told you last week. Am I there? Yeah, you can hear me, yeah? yeah? 
Yeah, have you got YouTube on? Yeah, yeah fucking hell. Yeah, Sorry, have guys. Have you got YouTube on? No, I haven't got YouTube on. Um, <laughs> I did right. look and I, I seen that I told you to turn it off. <laughs> yeah, it fine. seems you've gone now, that's fine. But, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's all fine. over the place. Oh, he's gone. Oh, not sure what happened there. Uh, Maxi posted on his Insta, said, NUFC, I'm back. Good. I hope he is. There we go. I think SM prefers the left so he can go on his solo runs inside to try and score. Uh, but I'd like to see him on the right and get crosses in. But yes. hey, I also want to win the Euro Millions, <laughs> says Wacky. Uh, wouldn't we all? No. Uh, Roy, what Maybe have you done to your beard, says Trolls? It's gone. It's he looks gone. like a fresh 29 year old. Yeah. Well, maybe that's been a little bit 10 years ago. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, I see 10 people on the screen, just one more, and we have a football team. Um, one I'm not sure how well we do. I think, for one, Paul Sales would be severely, severely slowed down by the big bit of metal that he has around his neck from uh, Uncle Mafia that he got when he was last in New York City. Um, that must weigh at least three tonne. Um, so it, 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 that has to have its own flight when he comes back. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm not sure how well we do, but t to be honest, I'd, I'd prefer to get in the boxing ring with the trolls. That would do me, but never mind. Uh, haters will be haters. Uh, we all love the tune review. Posse, thanks, Fats. Uh, that's a smart shirt, Roy, says Andrew. Thank you. Uh, you're getting some pleasure. Uh, thanks for another $5, CFC Florida. Breaking news, Premier League clubs can bring in players in January now. Wait until CFC, LFC, MCFC and MUFC hear about this. Uh, a little sarcastic towards the Premier League there, maybe, but that's fine. Uh, is Dan Byrne, baby Byrne, allowed to play against Brighton? Yes, we've yes. signed him. Yep. He's, uh, he's, he's not on loan. Uh, he's he's Newcastle like. United's player, so he, he will be playing. Um, and he'll be well up for it as well. Uh, so... Um, did Ryan say fans are negative, complaining about fans being negative to Chris Wood? No, it's more on Sunday when I saw like when we have a, when we win a game and you criticize a player, like people are just like shut the hell up, like we want a game, like I can't stand people like that. So you're saying it's fine to to, to uh, you know criticize a player even though we've won? Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Of course it is. The, the, the coaching staff are going to be saying what we're saying as well. They're going to bring Wood in and say, you know, this chance, this position. Why are we not allowed to talk about it as well? It's so weird. Why? I don't know why it's taboo. Yeah, Arsenal yeah, are winning so games, weird. but they have a shit striker up top who doesn't score goals. Be I'm sure you could criticize that, but then there's some people like, oh, no, you can't do that. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's odd. Yeah. I, I agree. I mean, it just it, it beggars belief sometimes. Uh, football style says Kraft is horrible again. Now, I'm going to stick up for Emil Kraft he here, good. believe it or he not. all right. Uh, I thought he did fine against uh, Brentford. I don't yeah, think, no you know, mistakes. there was... Yeah. Sorry? No mistakes, yeah. No. I, it is listen, job, yeah. I think the back four were sound as a pound. Everything yeah. that they had to deal with, they had dealt with. Now, would I prefer Mankiw in for Emil Kraft? Of course I would, because I think Mankiw was a better all-round player. But yeah. you know what? He was put in again on Saturday, and to give the lad credit, he did a job. And, you know, I've always said, if, oh. if the player and do a job, I'll praise them. And he didn't do anything wrong. Had to have been level seven's man of the match again, then. Completely well, agree with you, Paul. Yeah. I, I feel it's like the less you talk about him, the better, because he did his job, right? So, it's not like he did anything spectacular, but he just did it. He did what he needed to do. This is age is a funny he's one for me because he's showing yeah. flashes of um, flashes of yeah. things when he dribbles. Like he can do some bits. So yeah. if he was twenty one, twenty two, you know, maybe we could try and work on that. But it's the fact that he's nearly twenty eight that you just feel like. Ugh. It's not much to mould and improve now, is there? No, he's timed up at the club, isn't it? It's the summer he needs to go, obviously, on, on the passages new. Yeah. Maybe a championship club just to see what he can do there. And then if he does all right there, then that's probably his level. I, I think Emil Kraft would do well in, in somewhere like France or, you know, in, in a league like that where it's not. That's as... where we got him from. That's where he came from. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. He did well in Serie A as well. He can go back so... there. But well, we'll if you see. ask John about him in Serie A, you say no. I. <laughs> Oh, yeah, well, yeah. I the mean, Swedish Cafu. The Swedish Cafu, yeah. Uh, Gary says, no, he's not his dad. Uh, so, uh, is he not? No, apparently not. Uh, Paul's he internet's gone off to Australia again. Uh, Joe says, evening all, fuck the haters. Thank you very much. Uh, Chris Wood is just trying too hard to get his first goal. He does a lot of the um, pal work uh, and batters centre-halves. He's obviously uh, won't be playing next year. 
look, Chris Wood, I'm, I'm not saying anything about Chris Wood's effort, right? Because Chris Wood is just like all the other players on that pitch for Newcastle United. He puts 110% in. It's his ability a question. I'm not questioning yeah. his, his effort and his, his work rate because you, you cannot question any of the team's effort and work rate at the minute because they're all putting it in. Now, it's just not coming off for Chris Wood at the minute. And, you know, and I, I will say, if I don't think he's played very well, I'll say he didn't play well. But that's not to say that against Brighton, he can't suddenly come up with a couple of goals. Because I think, and the genuine consensus of a lot of Newcastle fans is that if Chris Wood gets one, even if it's off his backside, that'll just improve his confidence, Jason. Mm. <laughs> All right, Roy. <laughs> Yes, it'll, it, 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 it'll, it'll improve his confidence. Yeah, okay, fair enough. But I don't want just the one goal. One goal is not going to change my opinion on him. I want to see more goals out of him. Because we've only got him for the rest of the season, practically. The only way he's going to be in the squad next season is if we have a number of injuries again. So one goal is not going to yeah. do it for me. You know, I want to see at least, I don't know, five. <laughs> I mean, from a statistics standpoint, his XG is now at six and he's on three. So he's been given the opportunities to get three goals, and he's not taken any of them. So that's on him. Like it's not, it's not our fault. It's not Eddie Howe's fault. No, he's he's had the he's had three goals, clear goal scoring opportunities that the stats suggest he should have scored, and he hasn't done it. So we're still supporting when he's got the shirt on. Just we just want to see him score a bit. Who the hell is hammering away on a keyboard? Is that you again, Ryan? Sorry, <laughs> it's great typewriter keyboard. I got a mechanical keyboard, yeah. Mechanical? Jesus <laughs> Christ. Um, Christopher says, has Alex got any stats for Basuma's last few games? From what I've seen, he's been very poor. He hasn't really hit the headlines. Um, his stats are deceiving because his stats are really good. But he's one of them players that he makes mistakes that the stats don't pick up. If that makes sense. Like It's really difficult to track players' poor positioning or poor step-ups. There's no, you can't track that necessarily. So a lot of his mistakes, a, negative. a lot of Brighton fans. Um, well, a lot, a lot of the Brighton. We, we all keeps, we we all keep waxing lyrical about Bissouma from other fan bases, and a lot of Brighton fans I've heard are actually a little bit frustrated with him recently. Um, and it's difficult to see why statistically because he's a monster. But I think if you go and this is why I need to go and watch some games. Apparently, he's, there's things he's doing wrong that can't be tracked statistically. So mm. it's an interesting one. I'll have to go and have a look. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> Dan says, unsung three heroes of the season, Big Joe, Shelby, and Fraser agreed. Um, yeah. I think we'll talk about that at the end now. of the season, but we're certainly up there. Um, Wacky says, I'm a bit worried the black and white beard has gone. It was a lucky charm. Ooh. I got one. That's true. Uh, I'll be back by Saturday. Saturday, by the looks of it, you'll be back in three <laughs> hours' time. Persian <laughs> DNA, this. <laughs> Christ almighty, Richard, Richard Keyes would be jealous of you. I know. You by the way, Leicester just scored the second, so Bernie just lost 2-0 at home. Oh, good. Good, good, good. good. Um, Brian from ACDC says, Yes, Paul, I can confirm that Don Howe is definitely Eddie's dad, and I'm back in the uh, band, and we're playing at St. James's Park soon. Fantastic, Brian. Great to see you. Uh, I want some free tickets, by the way. Uh, <laughs> has Ryan been to the UK? Uh, bet he would love to come over for a game. I've not been to Europe at all, and I'm I'm desperately waiting to go, but I'm kind of not wanting to go with what's going on right now. Yep. Uh, Michael Marsden, thank you for the £90 super chat, matey. Uh, very, very kind. Uh, yet again, fantastic donator to the channel. Uh, and thanks for your message earlier on today, buddy. Um as usual, very, very kind, and uh, it was great for you to reach out, mate, so thank you for doing that as well. Um, I saw a Newcastle vid blog yesterday, and some Toon fans saying Big Joe is overrated. Mental. Oh, wow. Well, if, can you imagine if we said that on this channel? Jesus Christ. The hobos would be yeah. out in the force. You'd get clipped and have 30K views on Twitter. Wow, I tell you. Unbelievable. Um, and it'd be put I, out of context, too. Well, yeah. Uh, good evening, Kat. Hope you're well, and you're very welcome. Uh, reach out anytime, Kat. Uh, just keep your head up, okay? Um, we don't need to go into anything, but just keep your head up, uh, and you know where we are if you ever need to talk. Um, but keep watching. Um, 
uh, at Keith Paul has done a video on it. Yes, I have. Uh, Brian, uh, Brian, I chose to believe good things can happen, so I'm glad you got the band back together, says Cesare. Uh, Brian says, hi, Paul, in the forum. Just Google Eddie Howe, and yes, the Don Howe is his dad, so that's it confirmed. Well, I guess we still don't bloody know. Um, Seattle Jordy <laughs> says, I can't believe there wasn't more comments about ASM. He looked like uh, Liberace in that chamber. Screw them. Uh <laughs> Uh, you cannot get the staff, says V. Uh, yep, I know that. Um, yeah, Paul, never give up. I'll go on Twitter and do that again. People are assholes. Throw labels out there like it's nothing. Yeah, I mean, listen, somebody... The, the funny thing is, somebody... As Jason, you, you know this more than anybody, um, that you know, someone created a fake tune review account and decided to DM loads of people from uh, from apparently me, which the trolls jumped on, uh, and they still mention it to this day, almost a year later. It's it's the only thing that can get the sad little lives on, and the, they're now trying to get at Susan on Twitter. And you know what it is? Uh, to give Susan her credit, she just bounces back. It just bounces off them. She doesn't care. It's a load of. We've looked at them all. We've laughed at these messages. We've just. It's not getting to anybody. So, you, you know, it's incredible um, that people, grown adults, go to this length to try and ruin somebody's life. It's incredible. But there oh, you go. Um, but just, just to say to the trolls, look, um, this channel is going nowhere. We are continuing what we're doing. Um, there's nearly 10,000 people subscribed to this channel and they subscribe for a reason. Uh, it was like I, I had a message from somebody today saying, oh, uh, your content shit. Uh, it's a rubbish channel. Um, okay, it's rubbish, but 10,000 people don't quite agree with you, knob. So there you go. Um, it's just one of them things. But uh, listen, I'll, just to all the subscribers out there, everybody who subscribes to, to this channel knows we are just like a big family. Um, there is a lot of friends within this channel now, people who didn't know each other before this channel, people who've become best friends on this channel, um, people who come on the fan forum would just talk like we're in the pub having a drink because we're all mates. And that's how this channel will always operate. It will always, always be there for everybody. Uh, like the subscribers and everybody else has been there for me and Danielle and Alex over the last few days with all the stick we've got and horrible people coming at us. That's what it's about. It's about ha having that family atmosphere about the channel. And that's all I want to do. I don't want to bitch about any other channels because I want them all to do well. Uh, I've got no beef with anybody. And I just want everybody to be successful talking about things that they love, which is Newcastle United. And that's what I will continue to do because the amount of support that I've had today and messages of support far outweighs these little pricks behind the little keyboards. You know, hiding behind fake uh, profile pictures and things like that. Whatever. So this channel's going nowhere. Say what you want about me. Try and bring me down saying, oh, you messaged all these women. No, I didn't. People who know me know damn well it wasn't me. And the main person that knows it wasn't me, my fiance Susan, who I love beyond life, understands that. And we laugh at you. Okay? We laugh at you. So there you go. Anyway, Michael... Thank you for another £90, mate. You didn't really have to do that, but thank you so much for that. You are a star, a gentleman, and a legend. Uh, an absolute legend. Um, ASM posted on Insta saying he's back. Well, I hope he's back in training tomorrow. You didn't say oh, that. I defend Joe Linton very quickly. Of course. A lot, a lot of, pe a lot, a lot of people who player. have also been very critical recently. There's been a lot of talk of Joe Linton not adding the goals. Um, which is fair enough, it's a fair comment, but again, I believe it's a, a poor take from a lot of the people that have said it, because these are the same people that think Teote is a legend, and I agree he is a legend, but uh -huh. he got one career goal in a double pivot, and we didn't expect any more than that from him, because that was his job. So, I feel like, why, why is Joe being criticised? We've taken the pressure of goals away from him. Why are we now suddenly saying, ooh, but goals... Like, no, that's the whole reason he's doing this job and he's moved position, to take the pressure off him and to do his job. So if Tio if everybody's happy with Tiote with one career goal as a DM, then leave Joe Linton alone. If he scores, he scores. He's working on his game. You know, just leave him alone. And another defence for Joe Linton. What did I predict last season? 2-0 win, we're looking Joe Linton to score. I got mine perfectly spot on. You, you, well, you did. Um, I mean, Nathan, the goal that Joe Linton scored, I mean, just unbelievably magnificent, wasn't it? 
Oh, brilliant. Power header, brilliant. Amazing. He, Joe Linton is a different player under Eddie Howe. It just shows you what a player can have under a, a proper coach. Steve Bruce ain't a proper coach. You can see what he's doing at West Brom at the minute. He's killing that club like he was killing Newcastle. And no one else should even be even looking at Steve Bruce and appointing him. Yeah, he, he, he should have retired a long time ago. Once he had that eight million payoff, which he shouldn't have really got, but he got it. He's now going to kill West Brom and make them not get playoffs. Now, mm -hmm. I really feel sorry for some West Brom fans because having to watch that shite every week, there's going to be a lot more Gotta shite coming money. to them. Yeah. Uh, Gareth comments uh, saying, hashtag grow the beard back. Um, <laughs> Roy, do you me? I mean, you, yeah. You, yeah. I mean, d d these people love you, Roy. Uh, v, v even I'll, says, I'll, a I'll beautiful beard it. wins, lads. Um, but unfortunately, Dublin Dave, I mean, yours yours is just a mess. Um, <laughs> that's, so, great. that's trim, bird. man. There's it's not trim at all. It's trim. Dave, it's a bush on your chin, mate. That's all that is. I mean, Roy's was carved like a like a, a piece of artwork. You know, it was it was chiseled. Yours cut looks like a bloody nest of... It's for hiding well. stuff in. Eh? For yeah, hiding a bird's stuff nest. There'll be a budgie that flies out. Budgies, Alex is I think it'd be a lot now. more worse than a budgie. <laughs> um, Tom says I didn't agree with what Danielle said about ASM, which is fair enough. But she has a right to express her views without being ridiculed. Uh, some comments have been over the top of playing nasty. There's no need for it. Exactly, Tom. And you know what? Um, I didn't particularly agree with Danielle, but that, that doesn't matter. She doesn't deserve to be ridiculed. It's her, you know, Danielle, and uh, you know. <laughs> She is one of the most kind-hearted, loveliest people you'll ever want to meet in your life and have the pleasure of meeting. Uh, so she she will always be very, very special to all of us, and uh, it doesn't matter. Um, she'll be back on Thursday anyway, so, you know, bollocks to them. Uh, indeed, as games, if that doesn't work, it would be so funny if Everton went down. V, I'd be gutted. <laughs> Sarcastic. What, for a second, you looked at the tail and went. Nathan, I wouldn't even be gutted for a second, mate. I'd be, I'd be, I'd be. <laughs> listen, I'd be cartwheeling everywhere. I mean, I mean, does does anybody want Everton to stay up on the panel tonight? No, no. no can we play them players? So. Uh, oh, uh, two weeks on. Is it two weeks on Thursday? Because we've got Southampton yeah. away. Is it Southampton yeah, away next Thursday? It's the following, following Thursday. It's yeah. the fourth Thursday. game, like fourth game away. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Um, so yeah, uh, guys, just a uh, quick uh, mention: if you are enjoying the show tonight, uh, please do consider subscribing to the channel. Um, we have had quite a few subscribers on the back of all the crap that, that was going on. Um, so uh, again, thank you to the trolls for putting the uh, the. the, the the channel out there for people to subscribe to um so if you are enjoying it and you're new to the channel please do consider subscribing of course on the road to ten thousand, you can join and become a member of the tune review if you hit the join button just under the video itself or it's linked in the description below uh if you want to donate to the channel tonight which so many kind people have already done so uh including fantastic from michael marsden again uh, you can by hitting the dollar sign at the bottom of the live comments, and that will take you through to a payment method. And a massive shout out to channel sponsors, Geordie Riffs, uh, Graham and Natalie, who do professional guitar repairs and service and based here in the good old north of East England. Uh, their website is linked below in the description, and they're on Facebook and Twitter as well, where they're offering 10% off a first repair or setup and a first guitar lesson completely free of charge. So a massive uh, shout out to Geordie Riffs for their continued sponsorship of the channel. Um, Colin says, I thought Shah had another good game against Brentford. Awesome pass for Willick's goal. Um, he's what a standout, was... Alex, isn't he, at the minute? Yeah, he's one of my favourite players. I mean, I I think maybe I I talk a bit too much about Shah, and I have done since since I've joined the team. But I, I just remember a lot of... The, the ability he had a few years ago under Rafa, and I know that just doesn't disappear. You know, as we've seen with Ericsson, um, when he came on and played a few beautiful passes, th that part of people's game doesn't just vanish. The intelligence and the and the, the t first touches, that doesn't just disappear. Uh, maybe your legs go a bit, but... And it... Shah's started to find that again in his game. Um, he's playing in a more settled back four, and he's... 
He's really enjoying his football. His long balls have come back into his game. Um, it's a little bit of a shame we can't see Prime Shah when he used to do those little 30-yard driving runs and boot it in the top corner. That was brilliant. No, yeah. but I don't think we'll see that again he for did a while. Actually but... he, he did actually look like he was going to tee one up, I think, in the uh, in the first half on Saturday. Uh, and then he just gave a little layoff. But for one brief second... I thought he was going to turn and lash it with his right foot, but he he, he didn't. He has a look, um, doesn't he? He always has a little look to say, oh, should I? He, he wants to always drive. Yeah. Um, he's uh, got that in he him. should because he's a tremendous shooter of the ball. But what do you think of this partnership, Ryan, that he's got with um, with Dan Byrne? It, it, it's obviously going to keep Lascelles out of the side, which is you know what what we said wouldn't happen. And, and credit Eddie Howe, he's left his, his cap now because you, you cannot replace them two at the minute. Yeah, there's no way they're they're both rocks and they're just solid at the back. Like they just work well together. A right foot center back, one left footed one as well, and one that can also play with his uh, play out from the back too. And like has that kind of like striker instinct, like what we saw the other day for his assist for Joe Willick. For me, I'm with Alex too. Give Fabian Sheriff a contract, because mm-hmm. you know you could say, oh, we got our takeover. We can move on from Shar now and could go to like some other club if he wants for free but i think he's not a bad backup right <laughs> well like if, if i was to choose between him and fernandez to let go this summer like it'd be fernandez like fernandez yeah. has been a great servant yeah. for us but i think yeah. it's time to move on from him and i think char has got a few more years at, um and it's credit to Shah, though now. isn't it because Shah was on his way out um as far as i was concerned earlier on in the season um and yeah. he's come back in and he's he's made that position his own and what i love about fabian Shah, roy is that he puts his head in where it hurts, game after game. He, or, you know, he, he comes off battered and bruised. He's just been in a war, hasn't he? He's just he goes to war for Newcastle every time. Yeah, I love him. He, he gives one hundred and ten percent every game. I still don't understand how uh, Bruce kept him off out of the team in the first six or seven games. And same with uh, Fernandez as well. And then he's playing Clark every game. So it just shows you how numpty he was. <laughs> he's gone now anyway yeah, well, yeah, exactly. he's, he's a numpty he's a numpty he is a numpty uh, uh, v a taylor fraud. thanks for becoming a new member uh welcome to the tune review family v uh very kind of you to join up leonardis says uh confirmed eddie howe is not don howe's son <laughs> right so i'm even more confused now uh, <laughs> we've uh, had it confirmed both ways a couple of times it was yeah. his uncle like, oh, Jesus, it could be anybody. Uh, good evening, Ryan. Uh, evening all. Uh, we beat Brentford, so let's beat Brighton. That would be two teams we have beaten finally in the Premier League. Um, Colin, it's not. It's practically not possible to extend the present stadium to 65,000. Uh, it is. Uh, and they've already looked at plans to doing that. If you yeah. saw the interview uh, that Mia Dad and Amanda did with The Athletic last week, they don't want to move away from St. James's Park and they will extend if they have to. Um, yeah, they wouldn't have said that if there wasn't a possibility because no. they wouldn't put their foot yeah. in it, would they? Listen, you can dig down. I think people are forgetting that, that you can dig down. You know, the Stadium of Light's done that. You know, you, th- th- their pitch is actually dug down. Um, so when you go into the ground, it, 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 it's, it's you know, the pitch is lower than what the actual, where you went in. Uh, Ryan, why are you laughing? Just the comment I said in the chat. Oh, okay. The mods um, are, uh, are laughing at me. Well, at least somebody is. Uh, <laughs> Steven says, Don Howe is everybody's daddy, apparently. Oh, um, <laughs> Palace is through, so our game's off. Indeed, it needs to be rescheduled yeah, cool. now. Uh, well, apparently, that's what Stavely wants stadium capacity up to a minimum of 65. It is indeed, and uh, I wouldn't bet against it. Uh, we might be nervous about Brighton, but I bet the Brighton fans are bricking it about coming up here. I- I'm not nervous about Brighton. Uh, I'm not nervous about going into any game at the minute because I think we can compete, Rohan, with anybody at the minute, surely. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm trying not to be get complacent because, yeah. you know, all it takes is one game and then we're back to, oh, shit, we could go back on a run of four or five without winning. But we've got to be confident, not overconfident. But I'm, I trust Eddie is keep saying that to the players. Like what Fraser said after the game, he said, do you want to be the hunters or be hunted? Yeah. And I think that's a really good attitude to have. We've got the home crowd behind us. We can go after Brighton. Uh, and I don't see why we can't win. But I think it'll be a very difficult game because Yves Basuma in the midfield against, I think, him and Joe Linton battle will be the key battle in uh, in who uh, 
comes out to get the three points really don't brian yeah. normally play with two midfielders also so like i expect us to like probably dominate midfield that three, game five, too. Two. Three, five, two. Oh, okay well i don't know do you know what? I'm well that will be playing against with, I think. I mean, that puts the fear of God into me, to be fair. Um, you know, I mean, he's not exactly. Oh, my God. Um, guys, I've, I've just <laughs> I've just seen Archer come into the green room. Um, and. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Good evening, Archer. Good oh evening. My God. <laughs> <laughs> what in God's green earth are those? New Year's Day. <laughs> the draft is over. I, 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 I do worry about you, my man. I do, I do seriously worry sometimes what, what's going on in that head. I mean, how long did it take you to grow that beard? Two they? hours? Uh, uh, no. <laughs> Honestly, Archer, I, I, you're the most incredible man to have a conversation with at times. Um, you know, uh, CFC Florida, thanks for another five dollars, matey. Uh, safe standing in one or more areas can significantly increase capacity. Uh, exactly, and it was Mike Ashley that turned that down the, the first time. I think we'd be having a, a definitely be under in a standard area somewhere, <laughs> which will be tremendous, won't it, Jess? Just to see their fans being able to stand. It would be. It would be. I'd be. Just we would be the perfect the stand for us to stand on the ground. Yeah. The, the atmosphere is loud as it is. Just think we've, we've even more crammed into the stadium. Oh, you'll be able to hear it even down here. True. Uh, Paul, Eddie, I was getting so much disrespect because of Newcastle buying their way up narrative. It, indeed, and I totally agree. It's it's completely wrong uh, to, to say something like that because Newcastle United... Um, Somebody mentioned it earlier. We've got so many injuries at the minute to our to our, you know, number one guys. You know, ASM Wilson Trippier. You know, these guys have been out now for a few a couple of games. That well, Wilson for forever. But um, but we've still gone and drawn or won games. Um, and I think that's down to Eddie Howe. It's not down. It certainly hasn't been down to luck. It's been down to the way we've set up and played. I mean, Archer, how did you think the game went on Saturday? Um. I think we did our least, to be fair. Um, Brentford, Brentford were playing really shit, to be fair. But Joe Linton, Joe Linton's goal was unreal. Like he was, he he scored that goal beautiful, like an absolute salmon. Oh, it was a salmon! It was a salmon, all right. <laughs> it was like one of those salmons of you know when the, 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 they're coming up the river to spawn and the bears are trying to grab them. But some of those massive salmons just escaped the grasp of the big bear. And it, uh, he, he just he just escaped the grasp of the Brentford defenders and bosh! You torn! Straight uh, in the bottom corner. A brilliant goal. And I, you know what? That'll give him the confidence to do it more as well. Uh, Rob well. says Roy looks like an optical illusion with those curtains behind him. <laughs> well, he looks like a complete optical illusion with no beard as well. So, you know. <laughs> I look like a potato. With a eyebrows. Potato, potato, potato. potato. I'm a potato. Uh, I'm how not, not saying everybody is. What, Dave? I'm not saying potato. <laughs> potato. <laughs> Three thousand three hundred thirty-three potatoes. <laughs> uh, Matthew says, "Hope Danielle is okay and hope to see you back soon. You will indeed." Uh, a season of first. The team at the bottom at Christmas never stayed up. Everton have never been relegated, and we've never beaten Brighton. So there you go. Uh, it's, it's <laughs> never scored for us, so that'll change as well. Yeah, yeah, mm. definitely. Um, players are a lot fitter and playing for everyone. I mean, it, it's certainly some at uh, Dublin when we see the players, like, you know, the, the, the squad being as together as they are at the minute. Oh, it's, it's fucking great. Like, you could see, um, like, the change nearly the first game or second game that it, how it was there. They were already starting to bond more and looking up for it but like even when you see it was it last game or the game before where uh, they were walking into the tunnel and uh, your man was having a go at Willock and fucking mm. born and everyone walked over and they're all sticking up for each other and they all look happy and you see the the post match uh, pictures in the um in the locker rooms and all that like it just yeah. looks like the atmosphere everyone's smiling and everyone just looks together like it's great 
It's awesome. It's awesome. Uh, Keith says, what's your opinion on Matty T target at left back so far? Uh, trig uh, trip you the signing or trigger the signing option or see what we can draw in the summer. Um, I'd say sign Simon. him as well. 100%. I, I think yep. he's been, he's, again, very, very underrated player. Um, he's a left back we've needed for our left wingers like ASM or Fraser. Yeah, undoubtedly. Um, I, I just think we sign him. I mean, he's he's done nothing to sort of dissuade me from from the fact that he could be our left back for a couple of years. Um, you know, he, he's he's an excellent tackler of the ball. He, he's got pace. He, he's a good defender. He gets forward. Um, you know, so you I, I don't see any reason. You talk a bit of punishment as well, like. But yeah, said, exactly. Said, said, I mean, that, that tackle. Oh, I mean, his leg bent. It was horrible, really. It was absolutely horrible. Uh, Brian says, I poke Navi autograph at the ground on Saturday. You can indeed, if if you <laughs> so wish. Um, Alex Smith, welcome to the Toon Review family. Thank you very much. Uh, and we have a Sunderland fan coming on again. Good evening. I'll eat me. How are you doing? I'm sound, you. Uh, yeah, well, you've got a, a group tonight who... who uh, who sort of won't give you any grief because uh, they're all good lads on here tonight. So uh, uh, I've been on before, man. I was on yeah, I know you man. have. Um, I know you have. Uh, listen, we, we we may as well ask you what the, what the, what the hell is going on down there? Oh, me didn't even ask you. <laughs> uh, what can I say, really? I mean, just to be honest, me, it's just a shit team. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. Nay heart in the players, it's no fight, um, and just didn't. You know, I just look like they don't want to play for the club. I mean. He wants to play for a club in League One, you know what I mean? And especially then in North East, there's nothing up here. <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, I mean, look, Sunderland's plight is 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 kind of, you know, uh, uh, the way we, we look at Sunderland at the minute. I'm, I'm trying to say things in a respectful manner, of course. Um, you know, I, I don't think, um, you know, half, well, half my family are Sunderland fans and they're, they're, they're rock bottom at the minute considering... Um, you know, especially since Newcastle sort of turnaround this season as well. Um, mm. So it's it's a little it's even bleaker for Sunderland. But do you still have any aspiration that you can get promoted this year? <laughs> uh, I mean, no. To be honest, you know, I've lost all hope in them at the minute. Like, I mean, it's just you you cannot you you can't see the way you're getting promoted when we're getting losses against Burton Albion and I wouldn't stand there. I mean, who are they? Happen to stand there? You know what I mean? <laughs> Never heard of them. <laughs> I mean, from the yeah. outside looking in, it looks like it's ownership and like processes that's the problem. Mm. Is, is that is that true from like the inside from fans? Is that because that's the message we get from yeah. as outsiders? Like, what do you think the problem is? Right. So obviously, I know that there's a part of ownership which is which is corrupt. You know, we're getting your owner called Kyle Lewis to your and then the previous owners before them. Um, they said obviously they've got no input in the club. They've like they've got no stake, and it only, only came out the other week that they've got like twenty percent of all the shares and that. And it's like the lie to the club, you know what I mean? Um, it's and also it's me. It's just the players, you know what I mean? The players are just shit. Like we are, we've got really really bad recruitment. Like we've got we've brought in players during the summer. Um, that are all under under twenty. You know, there's one player who's twenty one, and it's like. They're not experienced. Yeah, they might be from Premier League clubs. You know surely I mean? the size of your club, you can be pulling in some strong loans or mm. or people who couldn't quite cut it in a in a in a bigger league. Because you're you know for a League One, you're way too big for that league. So surely you can be pulling in some some of the best players for the league. It just it's a bit weird. It's got to be recruitment. You're right. Well, that, that's what they're saying. Yeah, like they're saying obviously, I from outside the club, Sunderland is a big club. But for us now, when they accept that we are a League One club. You know, yeah, we've had our previous history in the Premier League and that, but look where we are now. We are a League One club because if if we were bigger than a League League One club, we would have been at the first season. Yeah, but if you got if anybody if anybody, I mean, we, we don't count because we support all the clubs in the northeast. But if anybody got offered a contract at any League One club, most people mm. would go to Sunderland surely because it's the biggest name in League One. So that's got to be a poll. It's either do, um, but I mean, it's like clubs like Portsmouth and things like that. As I was saying oh, last time when I was on, when I was when I was on, I was saying, "What is there really up Sunderland? Yeah, there's nothing, is there? You know what I mean? There's nothing up here for them. So they come up here just for the money, and that's all they want. Because would, they've got would the money you, and they want. Would you take Mike Ashley as an owner? And that's a legitimate question. You know, just would you take him? Um, 
if I'm going to be brutally honest, I would, because any, any other owner would be better than the ones we've got, you know what I mean? I don't think Mike Ashley was a bad owner, but I just don't think he was... Um, I just don't think he was investing as much as he should for the size of the club, in my yeah. personal perspective. But I think he'd be good for League One. He'd be good for Sunderland, like. That's fair enough. It's just interesting to find that out, actually. But uh, it's, I mean, I was. What What is your name, by the way? It's Travis Mears. Right, because um, I'm, I'm trying to get together to do uh, um, a northeast football show once a week. Um, so I don't know whether you'd be interested on in being on the Sunderland, uh, Sunderland side of that. Uh, I definitely so. Right. Um, well, have you got any way? Are you on Twitter or, or Facebook or anything? I've got Instagram, mate. If you add us on Instagram. Um, right. What's your username on Instagram? I think I'll double check it. No problem. Um, yeah. So it's, so it's my name. So it's Travis. Yeah. Um, and then it's dot. Yeah. Um, Con Lynn. So C O N. Yeah. L I N. Okay. Dot eating. Dot eating. Right. Yeah. I'll drop your message on Instagram, Travis, because um, I'm yeah, trying to put together a Northeast football show. Um, yeah. I've had lots of requests from the subscribers to do it anyway. Just talking about like football in the Northeast, and you know that obviously um, I'm trying to get a Borough fan on as well, and then um, mm. we can just similar to what the three legends used to be. You know, just talking about the Northeast football once a Definitely week. Definitely. Yeah. Speaking um, of Borough, they're still nil nil. Yeah, they are. Uh, they're doing all right, um, but um, I think it'll be good. And then we can talk about North, North, uh, non-league teams as well and stuff like that. But um, I'm looking mm. to try and put that together once a week. So um, if you're interested, mate, then um, definitely, mate, yeah, and to, to represent the Sunderland side, that would be great. Um, but I'm, I'm not kicking you off yet. Don't worry. I'm just uh, asking if you'd be interested in yeah, that. Yeah. Um, definitely, mate. Uh, Kat says the most amazing friends have been there for me lately, and I can't thank them enough. Uh, that's what we all are. Um, uh, they were saying in that overrated big Jovid that he's performing as he should because he was uh, so big. Uh, he now just looks normal. Uh, Jesus Christ! I'm not talking about my comments. I wasn't talking about anybody specifically. There's been I've heard a lot of it recently, and it was just generally, you know, if we if we love Tiote for one goal, I feel like we shouldn't criticise Joe for doing the same role. I, I just think it needs to be. It's got to be context, right? So Technically, he got two goals, but one was wrong. I think Joel, Lim- Joel Willick's more of the guy I'd look to from goals from midfield. Like, he scored nine in a row, no, eight in a row for us last season. Mm. He's got I think it's because he's good that. in the air, so that, like, he should be more of a threat in the box from corners, but that's, like, the only thing you can say, but that's the same for, like... I mean, he just scored one, right? So he's... Uh, he's yeah, I, right. yeah, I know, I know. But it's like the same thing. I think it's just like more of a conservative Kevin thing to have him back ball. on a counter attack. Like he was just in the box because Brentford were ten men, so you're just going to commit players more yeah, in the box. Exactly. I mean, look, Joe Joe Willick for me. I mean, if he's coming back into form now, like he did at the back end of last season, Dangerous we have a real player. opportunity. Um, you know, because we we have that extra goal threat now, which we didn't have a few games ago. Because Joe Willock wasn't performing, and I think he'd be the first to admit it. Now, whatever's happened to Joe Willock, um, whether he's just had a kick up the arse behind the scenes from Eddie, or he's just realised that you know um, Bruno coming in, his place is definitely under threat. Because you you know out of the three of them at the time, everybody would have said that Willock was the man to miss out. Nobody would have dropped John Joe, and nobody would have dropped Joe Linton. That's a certainty. I'm but convinced. Now, I'm convinced that. When he got subbed off against Man City for just strolling for a Cancelo's goal, that was the kick up the ass for me. Mm. And Bruno coming in too. So, like, it's good to see Joe Willock, like, doing this because. Yeah. Oh, when, he, when he was from, taken yeah. off a half, was that the game where he was taken off a half? Man City, yeah. He didn't even yeah. get to go out. Like, that, that's, you know. That was the kick up the ass for me. But this is why pressure and criticism from the fans is important because he will have been aware that we were all annoyed that he was not tackling, not going up for aerial mm. duels. And the yeah. coaches will have been telling him the same things and showing him clips. So yeah. it's, it's important, you know, as long as we're being fair, um, yeah. you know, the criticism helps. And I think Willock's moved and he's cleaned up what we've all said and what the coaches have all told him and mm. look look how he's doing now yeah constructive cr- criticism it's all exactly. helpful. how difficult was it for dublin Dave, to say that by the way times i said that you try say it without any teeth 
Well, Cheech. The, 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 we've said the same <laughs> about Wood, right? We, I, I think I said the same the other day. I said, he's the number nine. He's the striker. If he wants to take a shot, take a shot. You know, we'll, we'll trust yeah. him. You know, well, we, we want him to succeed. Yeah. Uh, Steve says, is Joel Linton now worth £40 million? Pounds? For me, yes. Um, more, even more. Worth more than £40 million. Wouldn't, yeah. take, wouldn't let anyone take him off our hands because he's, he's been superb. This, uh, when Eddie Howe's come in, so he's, he's staying here. He's, yeah. not, he's not going anywhere. Yeah. Uh, Ron says, Hi, lads. I've subscribed and they gave me a great insight and brought me uh, and my grandson close. Uh, also adopting a black and white pug puppy called Bruno. Uh, this is a good omen, lads. Cheers, Ron. Thank you very much. Uh, Jack says, I tweeted out the day before Joe Linton will score uh, a header, and he did. Did anyone else see it? It got 2K likes, so someone must have. Nice one. Uh uh, be interesting to see if the MSM still white knight Bruce at West Brom. Uh, it, it, uh, phew, mm-hmm. No, he's not. Uh, Paul Pogba has a Joe Linton poster on his bedroom wall. <laughs> uh, he's so all right. Alex and Dublin have great beards, says Macy Moot. No, no, no. Alex does. My, Alex my is... beard's purely because I look awful without one. That's what? it's it's. <laughs> you know... I, yeah, I look like a Tune murderous next week baby. Next week, without one. <laughs> Right, so, so Dublin looks like a murderous baby without one and just looks like a plain and simple murderer <laughs> yeah. with one. I mean, so I look like Michael he, McIntyre he without win, really. one, so it's got to stay on, I'm afraid. Uh, yeah. Uh, Sonia says, Roy, it makes you look 10 years younger. Oh, thank you. So he looks 59. Oh, um, yeah, Flair. Seattle <laughs> Jordy says, great Flair. news. Brian Johnson, Brighton will be dead, so I think, Thunderstruck. Yeah, I'd, love to, I'd love to play Thunderstruck when the lads come out for a game. It'll be uh, pretty yeah. impressive. Um, Steve Bruce said, uh, doing a great job taking West Brom out of the championship, says Rich. Uh, yes, he does. Uh, <laughs> guys, uh, no fancy, no. <laughs> give uh, Rich Sport a follow on uh, on uh, YouTube. Uh, he's a Man United fan, but he's a really good guy. Uh, some great shows on his channel as well. So, uh, go and get a subscribe to him if you like your football channels. Uh, Gareth says, You've seen Darren Ambrose defending the fans and talking about Bruce's decline on Talk Shite. Um, nobody good knows someone is. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Go watch it. It's a really good interview. Yeah, I, I will. Um, yeah, keep up will. the good work, Paul. Many, many people love the show. F the trolls and other losers. Thanks very much. Uh, Dublin has a proper beard. The rest are carefully managed faceful adorn- facial adornments. Uh, interesting. Um, Danielle is a legend. Uh, Susan says we love Danielle. Indeed we do. Uh, when Newcastle break the chain and beat Brighton, Dublin Dave shaves his beard and head smooth. No. Oh. Yeah, what, what do we have to do? To Come on, do it. Mr. Mr. Oh. Dublin, what's the what? Win the Champions League, win the league. What, what's yeah, going to be the, the crack for that? Uh, what's the crack? What's the crack now? <laughs> well, not not yet. Anyway, I need a key, but yeah, she likes oh. it. <laughs> oh, she likes to give away. I mean, we've got to get um, Archer and Dublin in some sort of pact. Like if we win this or that, we've got to do beard things. Yeah, I mean, I'll join. Exactly. Oh Jesus! Be yeah, no, but you still, you still got going? hair on your head. So does Archer. I don't. <laughs> Well, Archie's just got a bit of fluff, hasn't he? Really, look at that. That is really a style, <laughs> isn't it? It's just a little bit of stuck-up fringe. Oh, a fringe yeah. that looks like a... Mi- no, I'm not going there. I'm not going there. Um, <laughs> Morgul says, uh, Morgul, thank you very much for the £5 super chat. Uh, be a money for Danielle at the match. She has to show up. F the haters. Uh, Travis, uh, thank you very much for your £4.49, matey. Um, obviously, you've got interview, uh, interview, internet problems there. Um, they need to be sorted if we're going to do a show, mate. Um, but thank you very much. A Sunderland fan donating to a Newcastle channel. Never thought I'd see the day, but he's a good guy, is Travis. So, uh, you know. Uh, and by the way, rivalry aside, it was um, very sad to hear about the Sunderland fan passing away as well. Um, massive condolences to uh, Michael's family. Uh, really, really horrible news, that. So, uh, everyone at the Tune Review wishes... Uh, Sends their prayers and thoughts out to you guys, uh, Michael's family and friends uh, over at Sunderland. Um, Tom says, if Everton go down, we'll get the rave on. Get the rave on? Oh, I, I want Everton to go down so bad. Well, yes, but do you? Uh, do, do any of you youngsters know what get the rave on means? Will someone come in and sign pick for it? Roy, it's back to Crocodilo, Roy, son. Aye. Roy. Yep, I'll be the first one there. I see. Well, you couldn't dance because your feet were stuck to the floor. <laughs> oh, oh, a rubbish dancer. Way back when. Uh, Daniil says, Paul, would you celebrate with a can of Coke? Um, can I'd have can some can 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 yeah, I would. I'd have some <laughs> can of Coke. 
Apparently, Jordan Pickford's got get the rave on inscribed in his boots. Sorry? Apparently, Pickford had get the rave on inscribed in his football boots. Oh, damn oh me. It's so funny for Pickford just to just to come into Newcastle when he's been relegated. And just oh, really every well. bar. Even well, funnier, just, just to hear. Jordan Pickford, yeah. championship goalkeeper. <laughs> I, I did make that suggestion that if okay. Newcastle were to go for a goalkeeper in the summer, if... If Everton went down, would you have Pickford? <laughs> course. No. course. That's the one accent I can't stand. Those scousers, man. They sound what, like let them, rot, rot, let them rot in the under 23s. So there you go. You, they you sound like they're, they're, they're spinning rot. when they're talking. Let you rot there. The, Ever- then the, the Liverpool would fans are all right, well, right? And it's just the. Um, yeah, the rocks. Everton ones. It's like, oh. Yeah. I'm like to call it the best uh, midfielder in the world. It's the ones that think they're too big to go down that's the issue, really. At the calm moment. down, calm down. Hey, 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 hey. 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 Anyway, <laughs> enough of that. Uh, I quite like the Scousers, but um, well, the red half, anyway. I, 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 some of the some of the blue half that subscribe to this channel, I love them dearly. Um, the, the rest of them live in recycle bins. Um, Steve says, Everton down, gutted, try and keep a straight face. I can't. Uh, Alex, Dominic Calvert-Lewin to Newcastle if they go down. Yes. Um, I mean, mm-hmm. we're going to be fighting off a lot of greedy hands for that. Um, but it's, <laughs> like it's, that. Um, it's, it's possible. I mean, it depends. He's, he's gonna, he'll get offers from Champions League clubs. So, um, and he's that, not exactly uh, prolific at the minute, is he? No, he's, he's not, but it depends on the team he's in. I mean, you can see... You can see uh, based on Everton's performances and results recently, that he wasn't the issue. Um, yeah. That's possibly yeah. why he wasn't doing as well recently. So, you know, if you put somebody like Dal- uh, Calvert-Lewin in the City team, he gets 20 goals minimum because he's yeah. going to get so much service. Yeah. I, I, I don't think we'd be able to get him because I think he'd walk into a into, into somewhere like that straight because, you know, you've got City have been trying to get a striker recently. Uh, mm. Liverpool have got an ageing front line. I, I think it's too soon for us to for that to be an option for us, um, but he's a great player, absolutely incredible. I'd take him if if he can stay fit. Yeah, massive, amazing. Yeah, yeah. Um, Carlos says it's like it's Jurassic right. Park in Dublin's beard. No, Paul, if Dave was still with us, how happy do you think he would be on the change of Newcastle and Joe Linton? Uh, It'd be over the bloody moon. Um, there's no doubt about it. Absolutely no doubt about it. Uh, Terry says, always great content from all your shows with people who have their own opinions, but ignore them, mate. Cheers. Kat says, Daniel is one of my dearest mates on Twitter for the past two years. Met her while vol- volunteering recently, and she is so lovely. A message from her yesterday made me so emotional. Love that last. Exactly. Um, because she's got a heart of gold. Uh, and she's she's absolutely lovely. Uh, is it time Madison starts getting some recognition? Another great goal today, back to good form. Um, Just we were talking about him up. coming to Newcastle at one stage, weren't we? Saying would would until we have dived. James Madison until he dived? Well, he did. Yeah, I bad mean, attitude. Would have been. Really? Yeah. Do you think he's got a bad attitude? Yeah. He smirks oh. at people and. Giggles when he gets fat. He's a bit of last well, smirk at people that I don't have a bad. Well, some people would say I do, but I, I don't. <laughs> um, yeah. A lot of people well, love that about him. Arsenal as well. I don't think Eddie Howe would want yeah. him just for the attitude problem. I think he'd. I don't think he'd fit. Fair him. enough. Yeah, but does he have an attitude problem in like um, training and the club? I, I, it seems to be on the pitch. He just kind of smirks and his teammates seem annoying. to like him. I mean, there's, there's no. Yeah. Um, I, I think you've got to be careful when we say attitude, you know, we've got to be careful with opinions. Mm. So yeah. I think it's oh, wow. more of his oh, yeah. uh, <laughs> I think it's his attitude like to the ref and players in game with fouls and cheeky smirks. I think that's that's what I meant. I didn't in training I've got no idea. Maybe he's amazing. The Toon just... Review does not does not share the same opinions that James Madison has a bad attitude <laughs> for legal purposes. I think for me, Eddie Howe is the kind of guy to resort attitude as well. Who like, I, feel, I feel like he's the kind of guy with like he'd deal with good like like big head players almost. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Definitely. Uh, Davey Kane says, as a fellow Irishman, Dublin Dave will agree uh, the Toon Review is a godsend for us Irish NUFC fans who want to enjoy and talk about our club. I've tried the rest and I stick with the best NUFC channel. Yep. Thank you very much, Davey. Really appreciate I that, buddy. Can't sta- I can't stand somebody of your own, but I'm not going to Yeah, we're not them. going there. 
Um, <laughs> that's uh, why it never comes online. Yeah, Oscars, <laughs> yeah J- Jason, you're just a Newcastle channel. <laughs> Um, oh, no, no, Jason, you're, you're, you're grand. <laughs> yeah, if you want to watch Jason's watch alongs, go along. He forgets to press the like button and he just looks like a screen for 90 yeah. minutes. See, it's Jason, the best game of football you'll ever watch. <laughs> I'm not here all the time. Sorry, Jason. I, I, I love you, buddy. I mean, that, that, what, you know, I just like the way you give Sinclair's out, but you haven't given yourself a Sinclair for that mistake. I mean, that, shh, shh. fair enough, mate. I just, shh. Love, I just, <laughs> Jason, just say tune instead and then you get away with it and they don't notice. Newcastle. Uh, Newcastle. 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 It's New- my opinion. I call it Newcastle. Right. It fucking is, what? mate. Don't doubt about it. Right. Don't you take that New fucking Castle. lip with me. I don't want to fucking eat those <laughs> jelly deals as well, mate. No problem. With a mashed potato on top. I'm starting to get South African now. I'm, I'm done aware where this is going. Um, fair enough. Says it shows like this had people... Uh, if shows like this had people that always had the same views, then it would be a pretty piss show. Keep it going, guys, uh, for one enjoy. Thank you very much. Uh, Brian Johnson says, enough now. They'll start believing it, and I'll have to play against Brighton and then fucking... <laughs> Brian, listen. I know you were looking a, you're looking a bit rough lately, mate, but, you know, you are still the lead singer of ACDC and forever will be your god. Uh, Andrew says, I'd love to see Everton, Liverpool and Spurs. Who would be your three? Uh, well, I don't think we'll ever see Liverpool and Spurs go down soon. Um, well, Spurs and Mike, because they go bust because they're, they're on more than <laughs> yeah. fucking Barca. Yeah, they could do. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. Um, interesting. Uh, bet the pundits are still saying Bruce needs time. Oh, of course, there will be. Uh, the will get a run out in the mental four games in 10 days. Well, it's not now because, of course, Crystal Palace have won tonight. Uh, yeah. so will Miggy and possibly a youngster too. Well, maybe you'll get on and run for a bit. Um, I don't know if you'll do anything else. We're uh, interested but... in the striker because he's not going to play. He can do run, isn't it? Yeah, it's all he can I do. Mean... Look, he's not, uh, Miggy's not suited to the Premier League. I'm sorry, he just isn't. He's he's not suited to the Premier League. Um, whichever way you look at it, he, he probably uh, it. You know, he, he's. If you look, he's he's around the. the you know, it, people talk about his his height, but. I don't think it's so much his height, but if you look at Ryan Fraser compared to to Miggy, you know Ryan Fraser's bulky. You know he's he's he's, he's strong, whereas I don't think Miggy's got that upper body strength to to cope in the Premier League. And look, what what did you say the other day, Alex? He was twenty eight or something. Now he's he's not a youngster anymore. Yeah, um, he's clearly like not going to do it in the Premier League at Newcastle. So, but listen, if he moves on, I wish him the very very best because I, I love Miggy, and you can never fault Miggy's effort. Um, no. So if he moves yeah. on, then the best to look to him from from it's just all the age. Yeah. If if, if yeah. Almiron and Kraft were both twenty two, twenty three, we could maybe all say, well, maybe we can get more and they can grow. But they're both, you know, they're both in their prime, and it's not it's not good enough. So, yeah. Uh, Luke says, "Holy shit, is that Pep Guardiola in the Newcastle top?" <laughs> Jesus Christ, man! I bet you've had that before. Yeah, I've had it a lot. Well, he doesn't actually look like Pep Guardiola now. It's Pep Guardiola's son um, <laughs> because he's took so much age off him. Um, uh, oh, there you go. Look, there's th- th- that's obviously been deleted, but that's the kind of stuff that I get, guys, from the trolls. There you go. I mean, they could have just been having fun, their own hobbies in their life, but... Yeah, enough, I guess, um, and I know the mods will have probably deleted that, but I wanted to show everybody that's the kind of crap that I get on a on a daily basis. Um, cool. But it's fine because my fiance knows it, but she's read all these stupid DMs and nice try, really nice try. But unfortunately, uh, you, you're making an embarrassment of yourselves. Honestly, absolutely unbelievable. But that's what I have to put up with. But never mind. Um, oh, some grass. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, uh, Waggy says I think on current form, Shar and Byrne would keep Botman out of the team, or maybe one of them would get a, uh, got a chance to prove what they can do. Um, they said the move stadiums would be like ripping the heart out of the club. Um, yes, I like that comment though. I like that comment. Yeah. I like that the owners actually want to stay at St James's Park because if, it, if you think, yeah, Saudis would want a bigger stadium. Yeah, but at least Amanda made us there going no. Don't want to move stadium. We want to stay at St James's Park. We'll, we'll mm. figure something out and we'll and we'll and we'll dig down and we'll have sixty five thousand. See, are they saying that on their own like words, or are they saying that on behalf of the Saudis? I don't know. 
if you listen to I mean, the Saudis are 80% like of the club too, so who knows? Troll says you can see the beard already forming on Roy. No offense meant. It, it's actually grown as we've been on air, um, which, Aye, which is very strange. It, I've never seen a, I've, I've never been able to watch a beard grow in front of my eyes like Roy's is. But it's, does it grow on your head anymore, Roy, or not? No, nah, it's, it's gone yeah, over here. I know the feeling. It's, I know the feeling. <laughs> bad distribution. Um, yeah. It's bad hairline. Uh, Graham says so frustrating this guys. Every time I hit enter studio now it changes to StreamYard login. Uh I don't know what's going on with you. Um with your login, mate. I, I do apologize and I can't really do anything about uh StreamYard, unfortunately. It, it does what it wants sometimes. Um DJL Float says if Eddie Howe has bought his way up, uh, which he hasn't, does this mean that Everton have bought their way down then after all the money they've spent? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <never laughs> yeah, yeah. It, it's a good point. It's a good point. Um, million or something, wasn't it? Well, Everton have got a load of sanctions anyway, haven't they? So I believe so. Yeah, yeah. Um, Brian says, hi, Danielle and Lee. Uh, don't know what the hell has gone on, but I'm coming down to see you on Saturday and looking forward to it. Take care. Yes. Good to see you, Brian. Uh, Graham, it's supposed to change the stream yard. Uh, you'll be asked for your name. Um, I, I don't know what's going on. You know, that... If people can't log in, then I, ju- I just I can't see them, unfortunately. Um, uh, going to be a good day. Are, we're all um, in... uh, sorry, sorry, go sorry to interrupt you, but being to stats is my thing. Uh, Middlesbrough are one nil up with a minute to go, and they have oh. more. Po- they've had more possession and more shots than Tottenham over 120 minutes of football. That's really funny. To out possession yeah, a Premier League team. Run, How I'll in. tell you what, the next home game I'm look or away game I'm looking forward to is Tottenham away, man. Yep. Remember Joe Linton one nil the scenes. Have we got to play them again? We haven't lost at their stadium. Yeah, it's been Touch a win and a draw when Cal Wilson scored that penalty off that fluke handball. So, so there's Millsburg beat Man United, now beating Spurs. Freaking hell. Credit Ma- Chris, Chris Wilder. Wilder. Yeah. Imagine them uh, yeah. winning the FA Cup. I genuinely believe that Middlesbrough do have a chance of getting promoted this season. I think Wilder's got them playing some good stuff. Um, if they can just become a little bit more consistent, I think they've got an opportunity. It'd be good um, for us as well. For, for the whole northeast look, it'd be, it'd yeah. be positive. At least we'll have some sort of rivalry. Yeah. I mean, technically it's Yorkshire, but we'll not say that. Um, Yorkshire. I said sort of. At least Leeds will have their dog. The Yorkshire. Millsborough. <laughs> hey, up. Must go. Hey, up, Who want to toilet? Hey, up, lad. Drinking stones. Can't it? Stones, Stop. like, you know. Anyway. Uh, and, and that's definitely think... Conte gone the minute from Spurs after his comments. Wow. Well, there's no way he'll last till the end of the season, I think. God, God knows what his comments are going to be after getting beat off Borough. Well, uh, I mean, <laughs> he'll blame himself, well, Nathan. Jonathan, he'll blame Jonathan himself again. He'll say, Sorry, why Jess? am I not good enough? If, if, if you wait a while, John will do a press conference on that. <laughs> 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 he will bless him, definitely. Um... Carl says uh, he's just told all the Mackhams his username and that he's supporting a Newcastle channel. Might the mighty backlash? Look, if some, if you think yeah. it's bad at Sunderland, at least you don't have Bruce's manager. It can always get worse. Well, they've, they've experienced that the same as us, to be fair. Well, um, you know, he nearly got the exact same amount of points and win ratio as he did with us, didn't he? Uh, when he was at Sunderland, he nearly done the exact same job. Like, well, I mean, he's just pathetic, isn't he? I mean, it's just. Yeah. Uh, I'm hearing rumours, says Joe Willock's number one fan. Paul is in talks with Team Joe Willock for a loan deal. I'm not sure what you mean by that, but um, interesting. Um, <laughs> oh, Jesus. Uh, Warren says, uh, evening, Paul and panel. Hope you're well. Another great win on Saturday. What a job Eddie Howe is doing. Uh, hopefully we can continue our good run against Brighton and finally get a Premier League win uh, against them. Uh, yeah, that would be absolutely tremendous. Uh, Joe struggled living up here full time and really trying to adjust living up Northumberland alone. Eddie Howe fixed it. Uh, keep up the good work on the channel and don't let people bring it down. You're fantastic. Oh, Thank shit. you, Mitty. Um, DJ Float says, Agree, Alex. This is what was irritating me with Super Mac. He was slating Big Joe for not scoring or creating. That isn't his game anymore. His job is to stop play or win the ball, and he's doing a class. Uh, yeah. Interesting, yeah, is, but he's but, now scoring. Yeah. Yeah, both against Brentford. 
I don't That's care if true. he scores. To be honest, yeah. we've got we've got what we had. Uh, I mean, I'll, I'll use my reference with Tiote. We had Bar, Cisse, Ben Arfa, Kabai to go get goals. So likewise, we should have similar now. We've got Joe Willock to press on with a striker with Wood at the moment. Hopefully, we'll score. And then we've got our wingers. You know, we've got other people to score the goals. It's fine. And, and Joe, if he if he bags a few. Then great, that's awesome. But it's not. I'm not going to be annoyed if he doesn't score five by the end of the season. Like it's fine yeah. if he doesn't score, but he does his job right and tackles and works. That's what he's there to do. Yeah. Uh, Stiff Gate. This has an interesting one here. Ten k subs equals stat or shaves. I mean, that's a bit <laughs> soon. <laughs> Shave, you gotta give me time to get in the gym it's before I've got to shave this off. That's not fair. In the gym, what you're gonna do? Like chin lifts or something? <laughs> Jesus Christ, manage your face. <laughs> Yeah, there's a lot of fat on it. It goes straight straight on here, unfortunately. <laughs> Fair Burra enough. Just uh, beaten Tottenham. But I just Sorry? won, yeah. Burra's just won. we have <laughs> beaten them. Get in! I mean, I, 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 yes, get in. I don't like Tottenham. Uh, Chuck Norris has a picture of J7 for motivation. <laughs> oh, we well, can start doing the Tioti jokes for J7 now. That'll be great. Oh, God, it's unbelievable. What a, what a turnaround, man. Absolutely incredible. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, fluffy Vajazzle is what you were gonna say, <laughs> Paul. Uh, pro- yeah, well, uh, that would sort of probably probably give a meaning to Archer's little quiff, to be fair. Um, uh, Mark says, All out beard shaves for the lads. <laughs> uh, Scouse Mackham's in the championship. Get that agent, Raff, Raffa that you erected. <laughs> Uh, erected, yeah, bit of a weird word uh, well, that's what for this saying. case. Well, for you, it is, yeah. Uh, Carl says, uh, just look like everyone's scared to say what they think, uh, in case there's a backlash. Uh, Dublin Dave, I mean, shave your head, it, it already <laughs> fell out, man. Yeah, he's got nothing there. Uh, well, what is Thompson's that hairline? I know it's disgraceful. It's all the way back your head. Yeah, I started getting fucking gone ball at sixteen. Yeah, he's only nineteen now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the hard life in Ireland. <laughs> I guess you do since you missed the Brentford game. Well, no, that was for something good though. <laughs> oh, there's nothing better than watching J Seven score a header. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His first Premier League header since he joined us. Indeed. Oh, uh, Tom wow. says, get the rave on, is what Little Arms said when we got relegated. Yeah, well, we're going to get the rave <clears> on. <throat> you got to get the rave on. You got to get the rave on. Uh, you know, uh, it seems we have a few trolls in tonight by the looks of things, but uh, hey ho. Uh, Travis says, uh, you're welcome, lads. Rari apart. There's more important things happening in the world at the moment. We all stick together. Indeed, yeah. we do, Travis. Thank you very much. Uh, if the Scouse Mackhams go down, Lampard going to have to come out of retirement to get them back up. Well, apparently, Burris shouldn't be winning. The player was offside and it's in no play. They are in that game, is there? So maybe. I no, who cares? Well, the reason there's no VAR in Middlesbrough, unfortunately, because they don't have the internet yet. Um, so it's very <laughs> oh, difficult dear, for oh, them to, to do oh, that. Oh dear, what a pity. Never mind. Yeah. Uh, Macy Moo says some fans haven't been fair to Willock. Some called him Joe Pillock. Um, yes, they did. And do we all know who that person was? I said it once. You said it once, Alex, but the main contributor to Joe Pillick was John Sinclair. Oh, uh, Morgos is one of my best mates as Scouse. Uh, you tell people to be respectful, but if just rubbish Scousers, see the issue there. Banter is banter if you also have a Scouser. If not, then maybe think. Oh, Morgul! <laughs> <laughs> it's not like I'm the Scousers ever take the mickey out of the Geordies, is it? Jesus Christ, man. What's the world coming to if you cannot have a good laugh, man? It's Jesus about fo- Christ! It's about football, like Jesus. Honestly, man. what is the matter with people? Honest, I, I just, just why is the world? See, I don't mind. Now? I don't. I don't mind them, but just their like. accents are a bit too much for me. Yeah, but it's it's accents. Do you not think that the Scousers do do Geordie accents on? The, does uh, <laughs> what's that comedian's name who does the all the the the, the, the impersonations? Does he do impersonations of Geordies? Yes, he does. Ooh, because Russell it's better and a laugh. Uh, Jimmy Carr, he did, he did Scouse and Geordie. He did, he yeah, he did. did. Scuba, yeah. Scuba, and he did, he did. Scuba, and Scuba, kind of you he, know, did, he did all of it. He did every accent. Who cares? It's funny. Of course they do. 
Honestly, man, Jesus Christ. Ah, I don't know. I, honestly, this planet, I don't know. I don't know what's happening anymore. It's just absolutely bizarre. The whole thing is just wow. Can't have your opinion, Paul. Yeah, exactly. I know. We're a cancel uh, culture world. Oh, it's unbelievable. Uh, James <laughs> Murray says Madison isn't right for Newcastle. Besides, he wouldn't even get a game for us at the minute. Exactly, he wouldn't. <laughs> um, that Cockney banter has just fried my brain. But yeah, Jason, I, I formally apologise for having a bit of banter with you for for doing the Cockney <laughs> accent, mate. I do apologise. Oh no, yeah. not, not accepted. You'll be hearing from my lawyers from that. Newcastle. <laughs> <laughs> Go for a cup of first, though. Um, yeah. Or. <laughs> Yeah, are we going in London or Newcastle for that uh, for the for the beverage? Ah, <laughs> what we might go to Ireland. Yeah, three thousand three hundred thirty times. Dave really wanted to judge then, and then kind of <laughs> said, "Yeah, oh, that was a good accent. I'll leave it." Kurt, no, I was gonna go like that. Just sounds like real. That that was like a Tom Cruise accent of, of the Irish, like <laughs> it's a Brad Pitt version. Yeah. Okay. I know Brad Pitt on an already pikey. <laughs> Yeah, they're, they're all right, Pikey. I so he did now. Um, Chris has just found the channel. And I love it. Keep up the good work, guys. Got my support. Thank you very much. Um, <laughs> right. Um, Prediction time. Oh, you're on the show, Ryan. Eager much? Only <laughs> <laughs> full screen. I'll host. Typical French Canadians. They just butt in any time they want, don't they? Honestly. Yeah. And before Jesus people make their predictions, Christ. you guys asked about formations for Brighton earlier. Um, I had a little look for you. They've played three different formations in the last three games, so I'm not, I'm not really sure what they're going to do against us. Again, need more, need more research. They've gone four. Uh, they they played their most recent game and they lost to Villa, they played the same formation that Brentford tried against us with the oh. five and the two wide forwards, the five in the middle. Um, and then the previous one was a 4-4-2 and then the previous one was a 4-3-3. So absolutely no idea what they're going to do, especially if they've got injury suspensions. I so thought they'd stuck to like three or five of the back all season. So did I until I just checked. So yeah, well, yeah. there you go. He's checked. Um, Morgul then goes on to say, personally, I'd welcome the trolls. It shows you're successful. I'm a thick-skinned ex squaddy though. The trolling twats don't have a set of balls between them. Morgul, welcome back. Literally two <laughs> seconds after having a Sinclair <laughs> statement, I love you again. Thank you. Uh, show your face so we can go with your side comments. Jealous comes to mind, says Sonia. Yeah, but he's being blocked anyway because he's just a little twat. Uh, I think the Saudis are guided by Amanda and made that in regards to the club as they know uh, and people better than the owner would. Yeah, well, that seems to be the... Uh, I mean, that seems to have been the, since the start that Amanda is basically running the ship. Um, she's the sort of captain guiding through the ocean of life. Um, that's deep. Paul, do you mind, mind if I add something? Uh, yes, I do. Yeah, of course uh, not. So Go on. If anyone's... <laughs> sorry, sorry, I didn't want to just put in and start talking, so... I think if anyone's asking about like the interview and what they're saying, I would say I listened to the pod on the time by the athletic and it's a really good listen. And they've got video clips of Amanda and Maydad talking about yeah. the actual thing. And they said, oh, you can hear that when uh, Maydad says he doesn't want to rip the soul out of the club and how PIF, PIF uh, didn't expect to fall in love with Newcastle the way they have done in the past couple of months. So, Sounds good. So I'd I'd recommend people listening. There are other podcasts available though. So just gotta get a disclaimer. So. Don't you have to pay for the athletic? No, it's on Apple Podcasts, so it's just free and stuff. I mean, I've just wow. signed up for the athletic myself, and I, I I think it's cool. I mean, it's great to to watch channels like this, but sometimes it's good to have written articles as well. Yeah, and it's uh, a bit more lengthy. You can get your teeth into it if you like reading more detailed things. It's I like it so far, but I've only had it a week, so you know, don't take my word for it. I'll I'll see how I get on with it. Fair enough. Uh, Wacky Angler says I'm a Lunder and I'm not offended in the slightest. Yes, well sure said. Do. Um, uh, I, I think somebody's had a dig at me in the comments for having a Sunderland fan on. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Darren says, uh, this channel is all about Newcastle first, then any other football. Uh, and great chat and a laugh. Try brighten up your likes, folks. I like his put, I like how he ended that. Try brightening up your life. There you go. Uh, 
Mogul says, okay, you caught up. Is there a wall of infamy for Sinclair moments? There is, Mogul, and I think Jason's noted yours down, mate, so you could well be in um, for Jason's weekly Sinclair Awards. Stay tuned to his channel for that. Um, I will let you know, though, Mogul. <laughs> See, this is what it's like. Somebody has a comment, we have a bit of banter, and it's all a laugh, you know? But yeah, well, look, well, I've never had a Sinclair at all. Like. Oh, no, not at all. Mm -hmm. You just continue growing your potatoes and your beard. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Cats is agree, wacky. More crosses like that from Wee Pocket Rocket Fraser, and he will be banging them in for fun. Uh, Pot on the Tine is free. It's very good. Uh, so is the tune review. Um, <laughs> Logolith has been mentioned lately. Uh, Fraser to recreate the Yedlin header. Uh, is John Sinclair watching his favorite Tuesday club spurs tonight? Uh, don't know. Uh, best thing about today, bumping into another Elvis fan. Oh, my God. Oh, oh. Uh, You can't fill it with just Sinclair picks, though. Uh, Pot on the Tine is free, but you have to subscribe to The Athletic. I've subscribed for about 80 months now. Love it. George Colkin and Chris Wolf's and USA coverage is excellent. Uh, the Athletic goes into great detail. Uh, am I giving this uh, advertisement out for the bloody Athletic here or what? <laughs> uh, buzzing for Borough. Uh, don't particularly like them, but I hate Spurs. Uh, Kepa to Newcastle. Any thoughts? No, no, but no. 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 I mean, that transfer link broke before the game, didn't it? So that was even funnier after it, yeah, yeah. Uh, right, so it's the end of the show, 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 uh, and it is prediction time for those of you that, uh, well, everybody bar me and Alex, obviously. Um, right, let's do this, Archer scoreline. Uh, I'm going Newcastle 2, Brighton 1. And the goal scorers? I'm going to go with Joe Linton and Willock. Two Joes. That'll be nice. Uh, That'll be nice. Uh, right, are you are you at the game, Archer? Uh, yes, I will be. Right, I'll see you there, matey. Catch you later. Take care, buddy. Right, Mr. Irishman. Uh, not a good scratch of that beard. God knows what's going to drop out of there live on telly. Never mind. Uh, two nil. And two the two. scorers? Uh, Joel Linton and Fraser. Yes, Joel Linton the first Fraser. week is not mentioned wood. <laughs> no, I, was, I mentioned wood as a, just to fucking try wish it on him like, or something. Like, get, get, I don't know. Maybe some fucking witch was listening to me or something. <laughs> so, some witch. <laughs> some witch. <laughs> 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 oh my god bloody hell some witch honestly uh right thanks for coming on matey take care no. we'll speak soon how are you say it take care oh my god jason i'm gonna go 2-1 I, th I think we're gonna win this one okay and who is going to score <laughs> uh joe willock had a fine uh goal scoring record last season so yeah. I'm going to say it's going to be free and free, and the other one's going to. Uh, I think I'm going to say Shelby. He's going to get one. Shelby. Okay. Uh, be interesting. A Shelby free kick. Um, Kat has said here two on the tune, uh, Willock and Fraser. And if I'm right, I'll bake two pies. Now, I saw uh, Kat's, Kat shared a picture on uh, Twitter the other day of her. Uh, it said two, two nil to Newcastle on the pie. Uh, and I think it was a meat and potato pie, if I'm not wrong. Um, pies, pies, make pies, make, apple, make, apple, pies. make, make apple pies, those were the best. Uh, yeah, uh, Dumblin <laughs> mentioning wood probably has a completely different content. Uh, yes, that's probably true. Susan says, Take care, everyone. Thanks for everyone's continued support. Much love from all the team, indeed. Uh, Wacky says, To all the mods, top modern tonight. Thank you very much, of course, as usual. Um, Paul, I think you should say what to score, and I bet he does. We'll find out on Thursday in the review show, uh, preview show, and you'll find out. Thanks for coming on, Jason. No problems. Take care, Dan in land and Dan. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Love you, bud. Love you too. Good night. See you later. Top man, top man. Uh, right, Rohan. Yeah, uh, so I think it'll be a very tight game. I, I just oh, looked at Brighton. No, we don't want tight games. No, I I think it like in terms of like I think there'll only be one goal. Uh, yeah, I think it'll be a one nil. Uh, but I've looked at Brighton's defensive; they've got a decent defensive record, but they don't score that many. 
so I think we'll win one nil, uh, and I think I'm trying to think. I think Willock will continue his run, um, probably from a counter attack or something like that. Counter attack. Well, we don't want to be on the counter. We want to be pretty, you know on top. But I see where you're coming from. I, I, you know, uh, Kat says uh, it was a corned beef and tatty. Nice, nice, nice. Although, Kat, you know, you've got competition because Susan makes an awesome pie as well. So, um, you know, just tremendous. But I don't know how we got into pies. But thanks, Rowan, for coming on, right, matey. No Take worries, care. Thoughts. See you next Cheers. time. Uh, Nathan? Yeah, I'm going to go 3-0. Well, that's three more nil. like it. That's yeah, the I'm gonna spirit. Go I'm going to go Joe Willick, um, John Joe Shelby, yeah. and Dan Byrne header from mm. a corner. Big Fair header enough. from a corner. And he gets his goal. Can Notice not one goal. person on the panel tonight has suggested that Chris Wood would score on Saturday, which is interesting. Um, Louis, the happiest man on the planet who didn't get on the show tonight, says, I make good bread. Um, but if you eat it, you probably turn into a manic depressive. Uh, <laughs> He's got to unplug his chair to plug in his bread maker. So. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Oh, that's a bit bitchy, Alex. You know, wow, oh, they'll, come you for you. they'll come for you now. They'll come for you. Um, right, Nathan, thank you very much. Yeah, uh, you very welcome much. back on next time, my friend. Thank you. Thanks, mate. Take care. I'm just jealous of the chair because mine's all normal. And yeah. Well, I'm missing the wheel on mine now, you see. So if I, if I move an inch forward... We have like, the same uh, uh, chairs, Paul. The yeah, racing chairs? Yeah, This is the best are. investment. I paid like $350 for it. Yeah, Susan, oh, bought, me this. Susan bought me this for Christmas. It's, it's you comfy know, like as hell. You've got a gear stick on it and buttons and... <laughs> yeah. But one of the um one of the wheels has snapped on this already, so I, I, I've been in touch with them. And oh, Roy's got the right thing. He's in. Oh no, he's that way. He's just a, sat on a really like comfy, it. massive. Yeah, sofa. Just, well, because oh, he's the king of Qatar, he gets what the sudden hell he wants. <laughs> it's, 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 how many uh, how many uh, drinks have you been served tonight, Roy? Uh, I've been to Burger King. And that's oh, <laughs> they have Burger no, King. You can go to Burger, Burger King. King here. Burger yeah, King's yeah. in Qatar. No way. Yeah, and you can get a camel burger. <laughs> nah, I'm kidding. You can't. Come on, Jesus! Ah, <laughs> oh, God. Anyway, uh, strengthen your back. Forget the chairs, says Ladstones. Jesus Christ! No chance. I'd never be able to do a show standing up. Um, uh, Brian says, uh, "Nice one, Paul, and everyone. Great show as always. Never forget, though, Paul. We love you and never give up. Thanks, Brian, uh, and thanks for sticking up before. Uh, really, really, really do appreciate it. Uh, right, Ryan." Yeah, um, oh, I'm gonna go two one Newcastle. I okay. think it'll be Joe Willick and Jacob Murphy to score. You think he's gonna be on the pitch? Mm. See, that's mm. kind of the doubt I have. So that means you're guessing. Uh, I'm gonna, gonna I'm gonna say yeah. SM. I think, oh, I, think he'll he'll, I think he'll be on the bench. Fair. Interesting. Uh, Jason says Paul's missing the wheel since he fell off at trying to battle the killer bat that snuck into his place. Uh, I didn't have this chair at the time, mate, unfortunately. Uh, Ash says, I tried a camel burger once and I got the hump. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh. oh, V says, don't shave your beard, Alex, or the rest of you, for that matter. You want to keep those subscribers, not scare them off. That's true. There's actually yeah. a moose burger <laughs> at a place Christ. close to me. It's just a burger, like, restaurant. They serve uh, moose burgers. My brother was... Oh, God, right. not a moose burger. This, so you eat moose burgers. You're, you eat you're fueling beavers. the stereotype. Honestly, you're giving him ammunition now. My God. Yeah, eat the beaver with just... Oh, just no, no, no. It's it deer. It's deer, actually, Paul, not moose. That's oh. venison. We have that. I heard, it, I heard it's oh. lovely. Well, I'm not, I'm fair enough. It. Listen, I'm not a bloody cook at this show. Anyway, it's can't cook, won't cook. Is you know, uh, <laughs> Julie says, uh, Paul, even though you can make me yell at my screen, thank you. We love you, Jules and Dave. Love you guys, too. Um, I don't know why I make you shout at your screen, but uh, it's StreamYard's fault. I don't know what you've deleted and what you haven't. I have emailed them. Um, let's just see if anyone's got any other score. Andrew says he likes a nice chocolate mousse. Uh, uh, thoughts for a tune review short. Man City allowed Stavely to have a look around. Double bid for Premier League exclusive showing rights incoming. Interesting. Uh, Terry says, great show, guys. Uh, Sonny says, Alex, keep the beard. You would look about 16. True. Jeez. True. I mean, I am I am getting nearly as grey as Roy, to be fair. I just I just dye it regularly. So You dye um... your beard. Uh no, my beard doesn't do go grey. I go I go grey. I go grey here. 
So I die. I die this bit. My I reckon Alex uses their soul glow. I mean, it's a bit of curling. The grey's okay. I just like to mix it up. Sometimes I keep it up. Black or white depends how I feel. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, Carl says Alex's stats are on point. Of course they are. He's the man. He's the man. Uh, Tom says a moose burger, a burger made of mice. <laughs> Jezre knows what I'm talking about with the soul glow. Do you, Roy? Yes, yeah, from uh, coming to America. Coming to America, yeah. 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 Gotta get that soul glow. <laughs> and then, you remember that stain at the back of the chair? Yes. When the mom and dad and yeah, yeah. class. Oh, oh, uh, v says uh, nothing wrong with a bit of grey. Uh, it's distinguished. Um, Chris says moose are all right, but it's hard to get them off the trap. <laughs> <laughs> uh, There's one comment here saying that they some guy in Alberta they put meat and poutine. I'm like, yeah, I know that man. Like I'm in Ottawa, and like I know out west is a different culture. Yeah, it certainly is. Right, thanks for coming on, Ryan. Just uh, in hopefully. time, I gotta go eat dinner too. Uh, you gotta go eat dinner. Book. Why are you having frogs legs? I don't know. Oh, I shouldn't say that. I'll have them coming for us. I, I don't know what's to, me. what's for dinner though. Well, Here, I'm, you, I'm gonna you, go. You, I'm gonna go have my tea. Right. Well, you enjoy your moose and your beaver. See you I on Facebook, you. mate. Take care, mate. Uh, see you guys. Good night. See you, mate. Come on then, Roy. You better hurry Bye. up before that. You need to go for another shave. No, I'm not shaving again. I'll shave in. I'll shave uh, just for Halloween. Because I'm planning to go as the Joker. And, yeah, oh, shave. wow. Maybe we should do so, a special Halloween fan forum in this yes. year. You've got to come yes. back on next week because I want to see how, how far it's grown in a week. We need yeah, to I'll, be, I'll be on. Oh, I'll be on down to his week. knees again next week. You, you, you guaranteed that. I'll Quite take a selfie tomorrow. tomorrow. And... It'll be tickling, yeah. his, tickling his nipples when he wakes up in the morning. <laughs> it's, it's the Persian DNA. <laughs> like a Persian carpet. Give us the score. Uh, it's going to be um, two and nil. Fraser's going to score first, and then yeah. I think Maximan will come on in, in the last 20, 25 minutes and yeah. score the second and finish it off. Two and nil. Cool, cool. Uh, Jason so. says, uh, "Now, now, don't talk about frogs. They've read it all before." Oh Jesus, the, the, the bad jokes are coming out. <laughs> uh, Ash says, "Roy, you're too polite for the Joker." Ah. Uh, you haven't seen me after a few tequilas. Yeah. Uh, Julie says Dave's birthday is Halloween this year. How old is he? I'm not even going to say how old he is because I'll get wrong again. Uh, right, Roy, thanks for coming on, buddy. Um, Cheers, lad. See you next week, bud. See you next week. Yeah, thanks for the support, buddy. What? Cheers. Cheers, mate. Bye, Take guys. Care. Love him. Love Roy. He's a top man and a really... You know, that's what I said before about making some really, really good friends through this. Um, and that's why they're not going to you know, knock me down and take me channel away or anything like that because I've made some amazing friends and um you know Roy lives out in Qatar, never met him face to face, but I class him as a as an as a, as a really good friend. And that's what it's all about. Um right, Alex, me and you will be back on Thursday night with the uh preview show. Hopefully Danielle yeah. will be back as well. Um uh, just uh told her to take her time, but hopefully she'll be back on Thursday to talk about the game. Um, I think she'll have seen all the support on the earlier video tonight. She'll have seen all the support on here tonight as well. So uh, hopefully she'll be... Uh... And Roy's just messaged saying 10 to 15 pints when I come to the tune. Is he trying to kill me? 10 to 15 pints? God, I'd be out for a fortnight if I bloody had that much to drink. <laughs> He's dancing in the green room. I, I don't know what's going on anymore. Um, Morgul says, uh, that was my point before, you beauti- you bald, beautiful bastard. Thank you very much. Um, uh, I'm off to take only tonsils uh, with a lion bar, says Andrew. God, why did I say such things? Crazy. Um, right, that is the end of the show. As I say, we'll be back on Thursday. Uh, if there's any news to bring you from Newcastle United, I may do... Uh, um, or maybe you're live. It depends what kind of news it is. Uh, but we will be back on Thursday uh, with the match preview. So keep an eye out for that. If you have enjoyed the show tonight, guys, as usual, please do hit the like button because it does help grow the channel. And uh, if you have enjoyed and you're new to watching the channel, please do consider subscribing. Well on the road to 10,000 now, which is really eating at people, and I love it. Um, so it, we're on the way to 10,000. So please do help in that way. Thank you to everybody that has subscribed. Thank you to all 
who have supported, especially Danielle, over the last couple of days. You are absolute legends. Um, and uh, like I say, this channel is one big family and it will stay one big family. Um, people that know me know for a fact that I am a, a decent guy. Alex is a decent guy. Danielle's a wonderful, uh, a wonderful lass. Uh, and we're all a big family on this channel. Um, and the won't will not put us down and force us off. So simple as that. Um, we love you lots. Uh, if you want to become a member of the Toon Review, please do uh, press the join button just underneath the video. Uh, and uh, if it's not there, then it is linked in the description as well. Um, and uh, a massive shout out, obviously, to our channel sponsors, Geordie Riffs, uh, Graham and Natalie, uh, based in the Northeast, professional guitar repairs and servicing, offering 10% off a setup or repair at the moment and a free first guitar lesson if you mention the tune review. Uh, fantastic uh, people, Graham and Natalie. Lovely, lovely people to speak to. Uh, so please go and give them a check out. The, the website is linked below in the description and they're also on Facebook and Twitter. Um, and uh, finally, a big shout out to the mods working behind the scenes again tonight. Um, absolutely fantastic job that they do every single time we go live. Um, you know, we have our banter, but I love them dearly. Um, it's it's fantastic work they do. Um, but the subscribers are what makes this channel, guys, and the support we've had has been immense. Thank you so much for all your lovely messages. And uh, we will see you on Thursday night for the preview. Uh, so in the meantime, guys, oh, Tune Review status is one thing. Go for it, man. You know, I just wanted to say thank you for everybody that reached out about uh, the refugee donations to the Ukraine. Um, yes. I, I think it's uh, from what I've seen from family and friends in the UK, there seems to be a lot of points where you can go and donate in the UK. So yeah, there is, yeah. I, I don't think it would make sense to, to try and do anything through me. I think it's much easier to, to try and look for your local point because uh, they do exist. So if you are interested, just go and have a look. Yeah. Uh, but, but, you know, also remember, don't in these times, you got, you got to keep keep the eye on you know the food bank at, at um at the stadium and stuff you know there's yeah there's a, there's a lot going about so you gotta you gotta remember everything but thank you for people who were interested it's um yeah it's very good definitely right thank you my man uh and thank you to everybody that's been watching tonight and we'll see you thursday night take care guys ah!